One day, well, one day I'll get you on one of my uh, CDI live streams and uh, convert you to the cult. Come on, CDI. It's the only console powerful enough to bring it to you. How are you doing? Thunder in Paradise shooter game is like really, really well done. It's different. And I, and I had like the infrared controller. So I gave the CDI a chance. And then I learned what it really means to be a game. It's the ISIS. Get to the chopper. Hell. Hello, hello. Nice of uh, nice of you to join us today on this CDI live stream. Oh yes, yes. I uh, happy to join you here from 1948, <laughs> uh, <laughs> before color was invented. Well, you know, uh, I think it's kind of fitting that for the CDI live stream there was some kind of technical issue, and I think it's kind of funny that it was Skype and not uh, not the CD. CDI or something, but um, well, the yeah. CDI wouldn't have a problem, of course. Um, yeah, if you only knew what it took to to get it to this point that we're at right now, that's kind of funny. But um, all right, well, um, I guess we should start with. Uh, I believe you would normally call this a a shooter, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I I don't know, I don't know, I don't appreciate the tone. Oh, okay. Uh, voice I, I don't i see we have top hat gaming man in the crowd here uh hey fellow cdi fan thank you very much for uh for coming to join i obviously we got the robes idea from your video yeah so this is i think the only uh shoot 'em up ish game on the cdi Although, I mean, th there is like a Namco type collection, so maybe there's some like, I haven't played it, uh, like a Namco Classics thing, so maybe there's like some like really old shootery type game on there. Well, it's, um, it's something. It's something. I think there was supposed <laughs> to be music in it, right? Does anybody hear music on it? Th this game does usually have music from what I remember. I've only played this one a few times. Interesting. Okay, we'll see if you hear the music now. I just hear shooting, no music. That's pretty funny. I don't... You know, maybe it's like, uh, what's that port of doom with uh, just the uh, sound? Uh... I think it was the Jaguar port? The Jaguar port, yeah. It, it, it's just to create like that ambiance. This is admittedly not one of my favorite CDI games. Robert Lawrence wants uh, wants me to play guitar sometime. Uh, Ronnie and I are actually working on that. Um, not only did we just do the theme song to this with my friend Kendall, the drummer, but we got a bunch of other stuff in the works as well. I'm very excited to get back into music because it's it's been way too long. Uh, Top Hat, this is Alien Gate. And uh, T wanted to know what controller I'm using. I'm using this lovely gem of a controller here. D do you have... Um... Atlantis, by any chance? I don't think so. I have all my games stacked up in front of me. I got Alien Gate, Burn Cycle, Thunder in Paradise, Hotel Mario, Tetris, a couple of movies, Space Ace, Seventh Guest, which I don't want to play yet today. Uh, Kether. Yeah, I don't recommend that either. I don't even know what Kether is, but Kether. Uh, Max Magic, Little Monster at School, Sargon Chess, and Demos Quest. 
So those are our choices for today. Okay. Yeah, maybe I should have sent you some more games because I, I know you said that you were having trouble uh, playing burned games, right? Yeah, this won't play burned games at all. Uh, it did at one point, and then it's not. Uh, and then there, these are new lasers too. I have a new laser assembly and a new laser. So that's so weird, man. I, I maybe I just lucked out, but I've never had any problems with my. Uh, but you, you CDI. have one of the big ones, right? Yeah, yeah, like one of the 200 series. Yeah, I specifically wanted the top loader for this uh, just because, so. Can anybody uh, can anybody else think of a shooter that's um, comparable to this one? There's no comparison to the greatness. <laughs> Aaron Walsh said, new drinking game. Every time Russell McGinn gets indignant about the CDI, you take a drink. Uh, that's not recommended for your liver. Yeah, your liver would object to that, definitely. But we'll... Like, this isn't the game I would have started with. Uh... <laughs> well, I wanted a game that I, uh, I could get directly into it. Um, true, true. But why, why can't I no longer move back and forth as fast? Did you see that? Here, let me. It's not like I would. I could do this on camera here. Why am I? Yeah, I don't. I've never had that happen uh, with this or any other so game. So it's shooting at the correct speed, but it's no longer moving at the correct speed. Now look, you've modded the CDI, so I don't know if any issues you have. Can we really blame it on the CDI? Can we really blame it on Phillips? You know. Uh, oh, and now it's moving at normal speed again. Okay. Uh, normally, I would agree with you on that, but I did not mod this CDI. Jose did. So, <laughs> it's, I would normally like, I, think I'm it's saying, my fault, but no, he did a great job on this. This, this is not uh, in, playing in, as Phillips intended. <laughs> Their masterpiece has been uh, meddled with. Yeah. yeah. This is that lady uh, tried to uh, retouch that famous painting of Jesus a few years ago. You know, you just... If you do a little, if you do it too much, you know you can mess it up. Whoa, this giant frog in the back. I oh, and now it's wait. If I go, I don't know. Maybe the maybe there's something up with the controller. Oh, um, there's a button I think on the bottom of that controller, like a little like toggle. Yeah, N one and two. And I want to say one of them has to do with speed. Oh, hey, look at that. Yeah. Is that what it was? Yes. User error? You, user error. <laughs> so it wasn't the CDI? So it wasn't the CDI, right? User error. Oh, I love it. Uh, yeah. It wasn't the, the CDI. All right. I'll try again. Thank you very much, Chris. It's uh, much appreciate the super chat. It's... Hey, two bucks. He said, hello. Don't forget about your gun-shaped mouse. Yeah, we will get to that. Don't you worry. Maybe we'll actually even get sound or music in the next game. Uh, Chris Fratz, this is... Alien Gate. Oh, but I was asking about Atlantis because it's a uh, first-person shooter, like in the style of, uh, you know, like Wolfenstein. And I wouldn't say Doom, but... Uh, and it runs um, really well, but it's ugly as sin. Like the textures that they made for the walls and the doors and stuff, just hideous. I think everybody laughing at me at the end of that, I think that's the last time I'm ever playing Alien Gate. <laughs> Alien Gate. Uh, so what is next then for us out of all of these games? Because I know we we really want to play that one, but I think we should uh, I think we should have another Save look it. at the CDI for a while. Um, so I'm looking at your list of games that you sent me a picture of. Um, I mean, uh, you could always go with um, a game that like more people are familiar with. That way they can compare okay. it. I mean, you've got Tetris. All right, let's do Tetris and Hotel Mario next, because I played Hotel Mario for the first time last night, and I have some thoughts on that game. <laughs> but we'll do, I think it's a good game. We'll do a classic here. We'll do Tetris. Yeah. You know, ne next time you uh, do a ta another uh, CDI live stream, maybe I'll uh, I'll send you my uh, uh, it's, you know a batch of games and maybe my Super Nintendo to CDI controller adapter. I'm not sure I'll be doing this stream more more than uh, once. But, but, but. <laughs> uh, uh, Dan says, Bob, just make pew pew noises with your mouth. <laughs> oh, God, Jimmy's here. Oh. 
Now let me let me tell you something about Jimmy and the CDI. Okay. This this liar, this fucking liar, Jimmy Hoppa. He is a fraud. Okay. He complains about the CDI all the time, right? And he says that I talk about it all the time. Every time I turn on one of his live streams, he's talking about the CDI. He brings it up. But when when he played the CDI at PRGE, he fucking loved it. He went from oh this is gonna be terrible to oh this isn't that bad. Yeah, this is pretty good. And then next thing you know, he's like, I'm having a good time. These are these are direct quotes from Jimmy Hoppa. So I'm just saying he uh, is out for YouTube clout by uh, shitting on the CDI. Yeah, that's how Jimmy's going to sell out. It's not going to be taking uh, sponsorships for stuff that he doesn't like. It's going to be promoting or, or pretending to not like the CDI. Yeah. That... Yeah, it's a controversial stance. <laughs> Uh, let me uh, see what kind of chat messages you've got here. Uh, Tense with a uh, $5 super chat. Said, Bob, just make pew pew noises with your mouth. <laughs> oh, uh, the world of CDI is here. That is a website uh, that you can go to to get lots of information about CDI. There's technical information there, some history, some info about the games. Um, Do they just have a shrine to you on that website? Because... I, I, I wish I had my own section, but I haven't earned it. <laughs> and that's totally fine. It's, it, it really is a really good site. Though. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, I've definitely been to that site a bunch of times. Yeah. Uh, Lainey, my girlfriend said, here comes Jimmy to talk shit on the CDI. Uh, let's see what Jimmy said. I don't know what Bob, uh, that Bob supported. I, sorry. I didn't know that Bob supported interactive electronic terrorism. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, you're going down a path I can't follow, and you're breaking my heart. Unsubbed wipes <laughs> tears. Oh, Stika's here. Stika, it's what's a, up, my friend? It's a CDI, what kind of heresy? Uh, <laughs> Jimmy Hoppa said, <laughs> Stika, screw these guys. Let's do a Saturn stream. <laughs> no, everybody will leave. Hey, uh, the CDI can easily, easily do transparencies. Just going to leave it there. Yeah, but just not having any graphics behind it. <clears throat> it, come on now. Come on now, Pop. No, nobody believes these lies. So what do you think about Tetris so far? Tetris is pretty hard to screw up, though. So it sounds like the music sounds like something that like an 80s or 90s made-for-TV movie would have because they just needed like whatever was in the open domain. Um, uh -huh. Sorry. And the controls are fine, except there's no way to speed up having the thing drop, having the piece drop. You could only quick drop it by pressing the middle button. Um, Maybe after your Alien Gate performance, the CDI is just like, hey, this guy needs all the time he can get. I mean, it's <laughs> possible. But yeah, this is... Uh, let's just say this is not my favorite version of Tetris. Um, from what I remember, though, like the soundtrack for this game was made specifically for it. And I think it was pretty reasonably put out like last year, maybe um, put out for sale. Really? Yeah, I I don't know if anybody wants to verify that. It might it may just be one of my CDI fantasies, yeah. but I'm pretty sure that that's true. You got drunk one night and started fantasizing about the soundtrack. <laughs> Plausible. Uh, St Stika said the CDI can do the best transparencies when you turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> Um, base guy said Tetris on the CDI and then a vomiting emoji. Uh, Jimmy Hoppe said, you hell calls the CDI a dream because you have to be asleep to believe it's a real video game system. That's funny. Uh, but you know what? You, the, you don't have a lot of like the, the better games for like the apprentice is really good. Um, you don't have that one. Uh, I'm glad you don't have the Zelda games. Those are pretty bad. Yeah. You know, I, I really enjoyed, wait a minute. You're dropping them faster now. Uh, well, yeah, it's just cause I'm getting better i'm getting used to playing this version of tetris i'm actually not oh, I, thought, I thought you said it wouldn't let you do that no uh if you if you hit the middle button you could insta drop but you can't like speed up and drop it a little bit faster like you do on every other oh, version oh i got you i got you i got you i did really appreciate the top hat gaming man video you were in not not just because i, I laughed hysterically at your parts but uh, but I did love the level-headed view of it, because while it's a, a, an easy console to tease, I think the whole point that was, this was not a game console. This was, you know, remember, in the time frame that it was released, it was an interactive multimedia console that also happened right. to play video games. 
So right. judging it just as a game console is completely unfair. Uh, but at the end of the day, we are playing games on it. So that's how I will be judging yeah. it today. And, you know, and it's one of those consoles where Philips did a lot of the games in-house. And Philips, uh, <laughs> I will say, not the best game development studio. The people that make uh, those Hue lights. Yeah. Not, not the best game developers. So that's part of the problem, too, with it. But when you got a good developer, like, I, I don't know who did The Apprentice, but... Um, and I think it was a later CDI game, so that probably had something to do with it. But, you know, once you have somebody that, like, knows what to do with it, um, you know, it plays like a really nice-looking platformer. It, it, it legitimately looks like a platformer you could see on 32X. It reminds me a little bit of Tempo, almost. Mm, okay. In the in the kind of the style and, and the way it flows. All right, this music's better. It's getting better. <laughs> yeah kether i think i played once while really drunk on stream that's the one that has like the uh kind of like the glossy case right well, bob's deep in tetris uh concentration oh, yeah. i don't the care CD, the cdi has has captured bob's imagination he can't even respond anymore i don't care what console i'm playing it on i always get into tetris and uh, I'm good enough to not embarrass myself, but I'm not nearly as good as my friends are at this. But like, I'm not going to win terrible. a Tetris, Tetris tournament, but I'm I'm not going to embarrass myself on stream. I would definitely embarrass, <clears throat> excuse me, myself on stream. I used to uh, I used to do like online competitions for cell phone versions of Tetris, and there was one person that would always absolutely destroy everybody else. To the point where I wonder if he hacked his cell phone or something. <laughs> but <laughs> whenever that person, whoever that person might have been, uh, and I'm not being facetious, like I have no idea who this person was, but like w whenever they didn't play, I would win. Like if I played that day and they didn't. So I, and if you won, you get all these weird free products. Like I got like those Biori face strips <laughs> once. Like <laughs> I was just like, I'll do that, whatever. Which is, by the way, if anybody has never done one of those before, you got to try it. It's so weird. When you pull that thing off your nose and you're just, you just end up staring at it like, where did that come from? <laughs> no, thanks. Theta X55 asked about a CDI cord for Mr. I know uh, Smoke uh, has kind of like, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't say he's actively tried to convince people to it, but I know he's mentioned it here and there. Oh, nice. Um, I'm sure like one day... It'll happen once all the major ones are done. Yeah, you know, I don't ever want to speak for any developer, but I just, I can't imagine uh, the team sitting there and going, all right, well, what's next? Well, let's give the Saturn a try. Well, hold on a minute. What, <laughs> <laughs> what if we instead worked on the CDI? So. But you know, like the CDI, a, a CDI core can't be that difficult for like the, at least the base console, right? It's just a 68k based uh, machine. I think the the problem comes with the uh, the MPEG cart. Oh yeah, good point. Good point. Hey, but you know so, what? If it's the same type of MPEG cart used in the Saturn or other consoles, then it actually might not be as much work um, as doing a from scratch core. So it could happen. Yeah, I, I don't, um, <laughs> Jimmy said a lot of CDI truth speakers are being censored automatically in the chat. The hell is afraid of the truth. <laughs> about to uh, put Jimmy on timeout here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a wrench. I can't put him on timeout. Damn it. <laughs> but uh, I, I don't know. I mean, I, the, the one thing I do know about the digital video cartridge for the CDI is that it has like a 32-bit uh risk processor in it oh uh but uh that's about all i know about it from a technical aspect I, and i think it has its own like ram if i remember correctly but it's, it's been so long since i did like my video and research on the cdi cdi i may be off about the ram But uh, now, now, now that you've played this a little bit more, this is uh, at least a passable version of, of Tetris? Uh, absolutely. 
100 percent. i'm really glad that you told me about the controller setting though otherwise i i might have hated this because the, if the controller would have been set to you know the lowest speed i wouldn't be able to do any of these moves yeah moves like i'm doing something impressive i i would <laughs> yeah i'm impressed oh man i'm screwed i mean up. you're doing a lot better on tetris than i would I always try to, my strategy is always to go for Tetrises. And then when I screw something up and can't do that, then I just kind of scramble for whatever I can um, and try to make the most of it. And I don't know, ooh, it's speeding up. So I think I may have just killed myself here, but uh, well, I'll just have at it. All right. So, so, so Top Hat, I just want to answer his question. He had a question about, so his CDI doesn't save data. Is there a way of fixing it? So I'm assuming that He's just got a bad battery. Yeah. Uh, the problem is, though, depending on your model of CDI, which is one of the things that I showed in the trailer, um, there are something called timekeepers, which uh, does exactly what it would expect. And they have batteries built into them. So that means if they die, you replace the whole chip as well as, uh, you know, because the battery in it. But if you get new old stock, the battery could be dead in that. So that's why if you saw Jose took a Dremel and carefully dremeled out the timekeeper chip and pulled the battery out of it and then wired in a new mm -hmm. battery with a socket. It was actually Dave. Shout out to Dave for mass, uh, mass gamer for giving us that idea. But yep. And it's the same problem I've got with, with mine, uh, same kind of battery in a chip thing. And I, I just don't want to risk doing that myself. Looks like you got a super chat from Aaron. Hey, what's up, Aaron? Uh, let's get down to brass tacks. Jimmy wants to know how big a super chat to get Bob's robe off. I mean, what makes you think I haven't already taken my robe off, Jimmy? <laughs> Nick said, when did Harvey Weinstein get out of jail? Aww. <laughs> I'm way less gross than Harvey Weinstein. Way less gross. <laughs> Morton and his nutty group are preparing for your arrival. Hold on. So, listen, wait, wait, wait. Mario. Listen to this opening real quick. Oh, did we miss it? I might have skipped it. There was a whole part where it's basically just like Italian American jokes. And I'm just like, come on. Are you serious? They put that in a video game? Like, let's go eat our spaghetti. It's like, oh, come on. <laughs> so Ian, shout out to Historical Nerd, told me that the point of this game was to close doors. A Mario game where you jump and close doors. So that's uh, not what I expected when I first played it. So when you go through the door, you have to press down to come out, which, believe it or not, the game mechanic of that is weirder than you think. You press the middle button to close the door and the first button to jump. So there we go. That's a Mario-esque thing. So to get in the door, you have to line it up in the middle and press up. And then you hide in the door and press down again to exit. It doesn't sound like it would be a hard thing to do, but it's a strange... Oh, I jumped right into it. Yeah. But it's a very strange mechanic to get used to. Yeah, and when once you get into like the later stages, uh, it, it it gets a lot more difficult. Was it because then you have to like actually go back into the doors just to hide from an enemy temporarily, and it, it's just weird pressing down to come out. Yeah, it, it's just a little odd. So I could, but, I could uh, stay in the door, and you could hide from these Koopa things. But that's it, right? Yeah, yeah. Which later you'll have to do with. Uh, I don't know how far you got into it. Did you see like? It, I forgot what the name of the of the actual characters, but they're like centipedes. No. Okay, it's only like a few levels into it, so uh, you should be able to see them. But it, yeah, the game gets pretty rough later on, especially like there's like ice levels, so everything gets like slippery. Um, really, the the key to like doing really well in this game is uh, getting the flower power up, so you can shoot fireballs. But I've literally only been able to get it once, and I think I've seen the flower come out maybe four times. Oh, really? Yeah, it's it's super random. Uh, you can get mushrooms too to uh, make you a little bit bigger, and it basically just gives you a, like another hit. There's a mushroom. And now, like the original game, I would hope that that means I can get hit once and it would just go back. Yeah, okay. yeah. You should have another hit now. It is so weird to me to see the, the HUD graphics from um, Super Nintendo Mario World on this. Especially at the <laughs> end, end stage, right? Right. Yeah, and the thing, that there's a demo for um, CDI called Super Mario's Wacky Worlds. I played that. Which was yeah. going to be like, 
which was going to be like a continuation. It actually plays a lot like Super Mario World. Uh, all you can do is kind of jump around, but... Oh, you got a couple more Super Chats here? Oh, McGinty too. Bob the Robe is too sexy. Well, thank you. I stole the idea from Yahel, which is why I uh, asked that he join me robe clad. I, uh, it's actually ironic that I'm the fatter one, but I'm the one that had the balls to actually go in a real robe and not put a shirt underneath it. But yeah, it's fine. Yahel, you're putting a, you're putting a few pounds <laughs> well, actually, on these days. I understand you might be embarrassed. That's fine. It's actually a little um, cool in Florida today, believe it or not. Oh, yeah. It's totally uh, warm also- in New York. Yeah, that makes else, sense. I really just wanted to wear my CDI shirt. <laughs> yeah, you know, so I got the True fan. I got the robe idea obviously from your video with Top Hat Gaming Man, but this the idea for this robe came about because uh, my wife and I rewatched all of the Golden Girls episodes, and, the, <laughs> and which is still holds up to this day. And there's one episode where Blanche came out and something so ridiculous like this, like this seems like something Dorothy would have worn, but Blanche came mm-hmm. out in it. And my wife was like, I think I should have a giant, bright, canary yellow terry cloth robe like that. And I was like, <laughs> Amazon.com, done. This is hilarious. I could wear this on a CDI live stream. And I, I was half kidding. And then when we decided to do this, I was like, well, I got my outfit picked out. <laughs> <laughs> At first, my wife was uh, like, I'm proud of you. You're picking out outfits now? And I'm like, well, I don't know how proud you're going to be when you, <laughs> when you see what I've decided. <laughs> So uh, Monte earlier said, um, hi, all has Bob flashed us yet? Which Laney said, we're all waiting. <laughs> My moves will, I'm sure, make an accidental wardrobe malfunction appearance at some point in this. But it's all right. The bear community is behind me. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're doing pretty good. The first few stages are uh, pretty easy. I'm curious to see how you'll do like once you get to like level i think it's like stage six or seven when the centipedes come out it's when it kind of starts to get a little bit more difficult Uh oh tense just super chatted and said i just called a goomba a koopa did i do that wow i'm sorry i feel like i've let every uh every cdi fan down for getting their mario game wrong (laughs) (laughs) oh get the flower get the flower go 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 okay Oh, you idiot! You lost it right away. I thought that was like a, I thought that was like a power up or something. No, like the flower, like you shoot fireballs. Have you ever played Mario? I've never played CDI Mario. I've never played a it's, Mario it's game like that, that regular I'm Mario. supposed to close doors in. Okay, this is all new to me. Oh my God, Bob! Oh, oh, you could have, you, you could have just, uh, you could have at least made it to like level fifteen with that. So I will wholeheartedly oh. admit that I. Uh, I had my reservations about this game yesterday when I was testing out the CDI for use. Uh, but this is actually, once you get used to the very strange mechanic of closing doors and up and down and everything, it is kind of just a fun puzzler. Uh, right. Just so odd that like scenes like this, where it's like you feel like you're at the end of a Nintendo made Mario game, but then you go back into closing doors. <laughs> Yeah, and, and I think the thing about this game, too, is a lot of people assume it sucks because of AVGN's video. And I think a lot of people that do actually play it, they only play, like, the first couple of stages, which are pretty easy. Um, and they don't, like, play to, like, the later stages when you get, you know, more things to do, uh, more variety in the levels as far as, like, the environment and how it affects you. Like, this centipede, Bob, when you, you, can't, you can only um, jump on its head. Oh, that's right. It, that's right. Ian was having that issue. Yeah. So and it and it only gets smaller and smaller. Okay. And I actually recommend leaving one ball on it instead of killing it all the way, because when you kill it completely, it respawns. So, uh, Top Hat Gaming Man. And by the way, uh, should I call you by your full name, or may I just call you Top? But uh, is this the spoon controller you're talking about? Or is this, uh, are you referring to the other one that looks like the Gravis pad? I think he's talking about the one that looks like a remote control, but isn't infrared. Oh, hold on. You mean this one? That I've never actually been able to get to work ever on any CDI I've ever owned? That is a true not, story. So, the, so not that one. There's like a wired one. Oh. That looks like more like a spoon. I've never owned one of those before. <laughs> Top Hat said to call him Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He goes by Daddy Top Hat. Oh, well, there goes the mushroom. 
Th that's fine. I mean, I mean, those come up kind of. It's yeah, no, it's gonna go off screen. <laughs> but uh, the, I mean, the mushrooms you'll you, you'll see those come up like way more often than the flower. Like you'll probably not see the flower come up again at all. Oh, so I just ruined this experience for everybody who wanted to see how the flower works. Nah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, like I said, I've only been able to get it once. It always like spawns like at a level that I'm not on. Like, did I miss a door or did it open a door? The centipede opens them back up. That son of a bitch, little centipede. Just because you have more yep. legs than me doesn't mean you can close my doors. Yeah. And for those that haven't noticed, this is on a timer. Oh, I didn't even so, notice so, that. Yeah. So you had 88 seconds left that time, but but Bob can't uh, just take his time. Oh, did you? S oh, I, I did not reboot it. I didn't touch anything at all. All I did was pour pour one of my favorite wines in this. Well, I guess the CDI said that I was done playing. Maybe, maybe well, each is different. Did you like hit pause or something? I didn't hit the damn thing. I pressed this thing down. Maybe I like. Oh, you did it so hard that like the CD maybe. It is funny that I just punched the table and the CDI booted up again. <laughs> Power of your fist. Okay, well, I guess we're done with Hotel Mario. I have been evicted from the hotel. Wow. And again, user user error, guys. So far, the biggest issues with the CDI today uh, have been Bob's fault. I just want to point that out. <laughs> Bob uh, doesn't know how to use a controller, and he's uh, physically mistreating the console. Mm. Bob, th this is like, Sorry, a, uh, like an expensive car that, that you can't just... Uh, you know, you can't treat it like it's a Ford Taurus. You know, it's funny that you use that uh, that analogy because that is the true analogy for a Sony BVM. You can't just buy it and use it. There's going to be stuff that you got to mess with it. There's going to be settings. The CDI is not the BVM of the uh, of the video game world. You, at least the top loader seems to be a lot more sensitive. Burn cycle? I, I, I think it's a good game i don't think it makes for a great streaming game but oh, it's okay. one of the cdi's like i was just ah, you should I, put it was in. on the top of the pile what else what else uh oh no no you, you should pop it in i mean okay. at least people because the fmv stuff is fun and it, it's one of the games that it's known for you know so uh mouse or controller M mouse if you have okay, it if, if i have it not only do <laughs> i have the mouse i even have the pad that goes with it oh you must have did you find that guy on ebay that had like the brand new yeah sealed yeah i should leave a link to that i'll I'll update it after the stream is over he has it's a pretty nice mouse you know <laughs> if that's what you're getting at for the cdi if you're grasping it well it's you know it's good a nice mouse and, well i mean it, it's it's you know one of those old school like rollerball m mice or whatever but I'm just saying it's it's a pretty nice mouse. I, I was actually surprised. McGinty said I gamed too hard. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. I guess I did. And uh, Beast said uh, he's gonna show up in his paprium thong to match my robe. That would be a <laughs> freaking hilarious live stream. Beast and I in robes and paprium thongs. We would have to start an OnlyFans for that one though. We we couldn't <laughs> just do that on on YouTube. Stika said that he thinks I am. Uh, he believes I am responsible. For increasing CDI prices, it's possible. At sixty percent, I might have a little bit, but is there a speed setting on the mouse like there is on the controller? So some games do have that. I don't think this one does. Hmm. Um, like in Thunder and Paradise, you can calibrate the controllers and your control and choose like how fast you want the reticle to move. But uh. Oh, here we go. Skipping the scene. All right. Ah, man, you skipped all the uh, the story. It, it, it's it's pretty long. <laughs> yeah, and I think if people really wanted to uh, wanted to learn about the story of Burn Cycle, there's probably other channels. In fact, haven't you done a live stream where you played Burn Cycle or something? Alex did a live stream of Burn Cycle. Uh, yeah, and, that, and that's where I, that's where I learned eh, this isn't a great streaming game. And you know, just just to be clear, all, all kidding aside, it's hard to say all kidding aside when I'm when I'm in a yellow robe with my chest hair sticking out. But like, I this stream, as much as we made the jokes about it, like I really do want to experience the CDI library and try to try to give it a, a fair chance. Uh, so, but this is not going to be like playthroughs of games or stuff like that. There's much right, better right, channels right. for that. So, what do I do with this thing? Uh, dude, I haven't played this game in so long. I don't remember. Well. There you go. Still no game now, audio, huh? Back 
get a sudden shock rush. Ugh. It's oh. been made. Just get out of there and fast. Yeah, you can hear it now. Uh, everybody so, in the chat, if you wouldn't mind, please keep us updated on the sound, because I definitely noticed that some games are louder than others, so if it's too quiet, too loud, please let me know, and I'll I'll be on that. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Stika wrote Bob's Chester and just did a bunch of drooling emojis. <laughs> hey. Get out of here, Stika. I, uh, a couple of friends dared me to wax it once but we were drunk at a party and it was in front of absolutely everybody so there was like 20 people and they were all staring at me like waiting for me to yelp like 40 year old virgin and they were so bummed out when I did not make a sound and now I'm just like a smooth sticky fat man with no hair and like <laughs> like wax stuck to me so um Talk to me, I think if you uh Where are you? move down You'll be able to get out of this, or, to, or actually, over there where the right arrow came out. Okay, I clicked on the skull. Oh, yeah, I don't think that's for the... Something Yeah, just wrong. go to, uh, restore? I think, restore, I yeah, that. yeah. And I think if you leave the mouse there, after you click on restore, you'll be able to, uh... I'm clicking. There's some clicking going on. Oh, or maybe, uh, I don't know. There we go. Now you can move out of All right, there. so you arrow down, gotcha. I press that. Is this game working correctly? Arrow. All right, try going to the to the right or left or something. I don't know. To the... There you go. Okay. There you go. Finally. Oh, I love the delay. I shot him. You heard the gunshot, and then count to two, and then the, then the person but, shot. But in all honesty, Bob, I I think. And I'm, I'm not just saying this. I think something is not working well with your CDI because I've played this game and it doesn't stall like that. Well, all kidding aside, though, the the um, the mods that we did have nothing to do with the performance of the CDI at all. It's only video output. Oh, no, no, I know. Did you get you, What did you guys do? You guys did uh, new optical drive, right? New optical uh, drive. RGB output. Uh, the Mobius is RGB mod for it. And... Um, what else do we do? Timekeeper fix, and Jose did a couple other fixes to it as well, but they're not performance-based at all. Yeah, and, and actually, now that I watched the delay on that second guy, maybe it does do it sometimes, because that seemed familiar to me, so maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Good call on telling me to use the mouse, though. Yeah, I imagine this with the controller. <clears throat> Wait, should have should this have been the game that I tried the, the light gun? I don't think so, because you'd have to, like... I mean, let me let me try yeah. the one thing I, I noticed I might actually have to reboot the CDI to do it so let me let me plug it in here <laughs> top hat said uh when I was wrestling regularly I got my legs waxed in Tunisia the women who did it at the spa were beyond confused by the incident <laughs> <laughs> uh. all right people are did say that the levels were pretty good okay. Now, the one thing Blar. I did notice, and this is absolutely, this is not a, like a joke about the CDI, it's just, I have to sit as far back as possible, because you're really, you're not supposed to play this four feet away from the TV, you're supposed to play this like six feet away from the TV, so the mouse part took a while to, because this is essentially a mouse with a, uh, I'll hold up the IR receiver in a minute, but that's pretty much it, so. <clears throat> I don't recommend playing, uh. From there in paradise with the light gun uh, oddly enough it's like more difficult well this isn't a light gun this is a an ir mouse or well a gun yeah, so. yeah everybody see how it's not really working on screen maybe if i go all the way back or something yeah so i'm not I, i'm not making any jokes about this i'm not using this in the environment that it's supposed to be in it's supposed to be on top of a tv and you're supposed to be sitting back treating it like a mouse but I do feel like last night when I was testing this, it worked a heck of a lot better than it is now. Do I have something in front of it? Is there is my wine in its way? Yeah, I mean, this I I don't have the gun, but Historic Nerd does, and uh, it usually does work a little better than this. But like you said, he's usually uh, further back. Yeah, let me um let me power off and back on and try it again. Hopefully, it doesn't mess up the uh, scaler I'm using. Check out the stream. 
No. All right. Good. 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 <laughs> Electron Ash. Bob aiming the gun like stop or my mom will shoot. That's funny. <laughs> Uh, Monty, if Bob scoots back just a little bit, we might get a basic instinct moment. I'm, I'm wearing pants. <laughs> he, he's not wearing pants, guys. Uh, we we chatted a little bit before the, uh, the stream started. And, uh... There's a, I've, I, I've been watching this show, Call My Agent, a French show that's on, oh, there we go, that's on Netflix. It's beyond funny, and one of the characters is so wacky, and every time she has, like, a little flip out, she does this weird thing where she'll, like, stand half squatting with her legs apart, like, ah! It's, it's not like, it's not like a sexual thing, it's just like a funny, crazy thing, and it made me laugh so freaking hard. I can't. Does uh, the video in this, is it just me? Maybe I'm remembering the game wrong, but does it kind of, like, remind you of Mega Race a little bit? I don't know if you ever played that on PC. I don't think I've played that, but I can't What's skip this. <laughs> I tried to think, but my thoughts raced around with nowhere to go. Shane, thank you very much. Yes, this is a uh, shotgun upside my head and blown a hole clear through my brain. But it's not doing anything. Talk to me, goddamn you! Oh, maybe this intro isn't as long as I remember, because you're almost at the end of it, I think. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about it. I think I'm pretty sure. Okay. You're about to get to the menu here. But it's not. Yeah. And the light went off on the IR. There's no, uh, if everybody can see this. Now the light just went off. Dave. Bob, I think you're, I think you're doing this on purpose to, to make the CDI seem like, I should have hooked up my CDI as well, just in case you pulled and, some shenanigans. And it just rebooted again. Dave, I'm sorry. That's... I don't know if I, if I broke your, your gun, I promise you I'll get you another one. Uh, the pins look fine. Let me try. Uh, yeah, Top had a CDI uh, Red Dwarf game, FMV game would have been amazing. Or maybe it's that maybe my power keeps falling out because it's um the power in this thing is like a network jack almost. Believe this guy. Oh my god, this is so funny! My CDI. Oh, here it is. Turn it on. Okay, let's give this another shot. I don't. I think you're doing this on purpose, Bob. I swear <laughs> on my life, I am not. This is way too embarrassing. I don't want to be. Uh, I don't want to be screwing just, up on a live stream. The gun seems to still be working as long as I treat it like Bob, a mouse. I'm, Bob, am I gonna have to like do a CDI live stream uh, that next weekend uh, prop and invite you on to show you what a proper CDI uh, works like? I think, unfortunately, my friend, this is a proper CDI experience. <laughs> Not booting now. On the top loaders, it's not uncommon that you actually have to spin the CD drive in order to get it started. I'm not kidding about that. Never heard of this. <laughs> He's making this up, everyone. <laughs> no, I, I actually I didn't know that. I, I've only ever played with a uh, VCR style. Because I think even Ian has like a 900... Which is also another uh, big VCR style one. All right, we. I do have a second CDI in anticipation of something like this happened. Honestly, All right, hold on. Wait, is it is it another top loader? Yeah. All right, unplugging the power. We're gonna do a full power cycle on this sucker. Uh, Shrimp asked, is the CDI really that sensitive? Yes. I've never... Bob's CDI is that sensitive. Oh. I've never seen a CDI be this sensitive in my life. I've, uh, but I've never played a top loader. I've so it could be something with that model. I also own front loaders. Mike Matei has my old one, and I think his is working fine. But All right. So yeah, it, it, might, it might have something to do with the model, the, front load, the top loaders. All right. Cross your fingers. We might be back. The light is on, you know what's, on the IR blaster, so that's that's a good sign. You know what's weird, Bob, is I think the top loaders are more expensive. Much, because they're, um, they're something that you could actually ship for under $1,000 because they don't weigh 500 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> fair point, fair point. Did, did I ever tell you that when I bought mine on eBay that just completely by coincidence, the guy that owned it lived like 40 minutes from me? So we ended up just meeting up halfway. Did you guys like have a little club where you're like, do you like the CDI as much as I do? Yeah. 
Dude, like so designer? he was like this older. He was like this older guy. I'm I'm gonna say probably in his sixties, but he had like long hair. Of course he did. And uh, he he said that oh, uh, he had. Was it you in the future that came back to give you a CDI? <laughs> oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> It might have been. Sorry, sorry, been. sorry to interrupt your story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Well, since since we this might be a shorter stream than I anticipated, I think we're gonna have to just do it now and hope for the best. Ah, yes, Thunder in Paradise. Thunder and Yehel's Hulk Hogan loving pants. Now, I I really do think you should let the FMV scenes play oh, just because no. they're so ridiculous yeah, th i absolutely will for this yeah i'll, I'll shut up during them <laughs> ladies said the ladies cdi said won the... <laughs> yeah <laughs> but uh yeah anyway so so that so i meet the guy and uh he said that he owned a like a mom and pop uh rental store like you know v uh video rental store back in the day and he had cdi movies for rent and he had like a cdi there for people to try out and stuff but a lot of people didn't know what it was so it didn't get like a whole lot of use so uh, i'm really lucky like mine is like in pristine condition outside of the battery being dead i love how this opening is very clearly a poor attempt at a ripoff of the baywatch theme song well this was made by the producers of baywatch that makes a lot of sense But you're absolutely right. It's definitely like a ripoff. But I will say this song, man, it can get stuck in your head. Like, like it's catchy in the kind of way you don't want to be like, oh, this is kind of catchy. Yeah, I don't know. I think Baywatch has a beat. That opening line. No, I agree. I agree with that. That scream. Some people stare into the darkness. I want to hear. <laughs> I wish Typo Negative could have redone that. <laughs> some people stare into the darkness. <clears throat> Others Shane Lynch burst into flames CDI in the light. Some... <laughs> hey, <laughs> I met him. I met him. Oh my god! I tapped the goddamn table and my CDI turned off again. At least it did it at the beginning. You can restart and just don't touch the table. Bob. All right. While this boots, hey. I'm getting a separate table for my wine. I'm not kidding. Be right back. Hey folks, I'll do a CDI live stream next weekend uh, on my channel, uh, Wrestling with Gaming, and. Uh, Show you guys uh, what it's like when a CDI is working <laughs> uh, and uh, not so sensitive as these top loader models. And I've got a lot more games too. I <laughs> may have to do a live stream tonight. I don't know. You ever see that gif of that guy who like takes the folding chair out and he's like <laughs> and whips it open and like sits in it? That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's basically what I just did with a folding table. Like, all right, nice. CDI just want me to have wine. I'll bring my own table for my wine. <laughs> I'm not kidding, though. That guy, I used to work at a gas station when I was a kid, and he came in with, like, this uh, this agent that was hyping him up to a gas, a 16-year-old gas station attendant. JT? Yeah, J from step JT's step? agent was like, JT just pulls up, and he was like, sorry to call him JT, but he just he pulls up, and he's just like, hi, Philip Super or something, just polite. And his agent gets out of the car like, do you know who you have in this car? This is JT. And I'm just like, okay. And uh, we started talking, and he came back like a week later with a, a, this guy right here. And he had a pretty cool Trans Am. He's like, you want to go for a ride in it? I'm like, hey, hey, how you doing? It's good to see you, this man. is going to end badly, but screw it. And I hopped in, and he like went around the block at like 100 miles an hour. And I'm just laughing. Like, it, How weird would it be if I ended up getting arrested with <laughs> JT for yeah, reckless great. driving great. in a town? And uh, yeah, and then he came back a week later and tried to use our phone book to buy guns. I swear on my life. It sounds like I'm lying, but I'm not creative. I enough. believe it. I believe it. And my boss. I've, is I've like, read some weird stories yeah, about him. Yeah, my boss is like, get this guy out of here. And I'm just like, I don't know, man. He's famous. Like, let him, leave him what be. was his agent like? Do you know who this is? Have you heard of the CDI? Uh, no. <laughs> it's funny though. No, his agent was only with him the first time, and then I never saw him after that. I was like, I'm sorry, man. You, if you're not 21, there's no way you're getting a gun. You could call every place in the phone book. But, like, who goes into a gas station to use their phone to call gun stores? I don't understand that. But... Well, maybe after you see him in this, you'll understand why he needs guns. Apparently. I don't know. I got a bunch of weird shit like that that's happened to me in my life, and I've had people legit, like, I'll start talking about stuff like that, and they'll be like... Uh, show only your game only.
Uh, I don't know what I clicked on. No, you don't want to do game only. Is that what you did? No, I, I don't know what I hit. I just moved the mouse. All right, are, uh, gun or other? Uh, use other. Okay. Because you're using the mouse, right? Um, I usually just leave it on medium, but, you know, do whatever you want. Uh, the fast, uh, medium or the one in between medium and fast usually work pretty well. Nothing's happening on screen. Or wait, is it? Oh, okay. Between medium and fast. I think I hit medium by accident. Let me, oh, it's, and then let done. me go back. Okay, I got you. So, uh, okay. <laughs> I hope you didn't put game only. I don't, I don't have no idea what I did. Calibration of... Input. I mean, if you if you did, you can skip all that stuff at the beginning by just hitting the mouse button. You have to restart it. Okay, you, it looks like you did the right... You either did to do a show or to do interactive uh, game or... I don't, I don't know what they call it, but which is the one you want. I'm, I'm going to grab a beer while this amazing FMV plays. Okay. I think this guy was in the X-Files, too. He looks like a, another actor that, um, like this big jack chisel dude that was also in Kindred the Embraced and a bunch of other random things, but he's not that guy. We all know who this is. We're going to compress as much of By the way, the I think the game audio might be a little low. Okay. In order to prevent now I'm going to get that beat. We must keep the Major's beta rhythms fully open, which means his auto defenses are down and he'll be completely open to exterior input. Okay, I get it. His thoughts. We'll be able to see them on the screen before they input them to the Major. Thanks, JT. Neural link transfer is ready for digitization. The major is open for uplink. Begin imaging. Unfortunately, he found no signs of meaningful thought in its brain. <laughs> Don't talk about the Hulk that way. He brought so many kids joy and so many people's wives. Take me with you. No, you stay here. Uncle Spence, please. I'm the only one who could override the Major's priority order. Is that a super How? <clears throat> with the Neuralink, all we have to do is use these soft guns to deplete the Major's auto defense. Then I could get in and take control. And with the Neuralink, I could sometimes see what the Major sees so we can find out where he's at. You guys are toast without me. Multiple weaponry on attack mode. What? Tracer, Hawkeye. Prowler. Missiles incoming at high noon, group. The Major's following procedure. One of his directives is to destroy the enemy. But this is overkill. Thunder. Activate shields. Shields activated. Creating matrix for total aggregate immunity. Total oh, 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 oh. is imminent. <clears throat> Mr. Major isn't giving us much breathing room now, is he? Brother, we got a hundred firestorms coming at us from all directions. I never get tired of this intro. Warning, detecting airborne drone technology. Trackers! We got trackers! Trackers, aren't they, uh... Drone technology. Mechanical spies that send exact coordinates of your whereabouts back to the missiles. Well, if that's the case, there's no way we can fire the missiles and keep the drones at bay. You neuralink me into the system, I can monitor, lock, and destroy incoming weaponry, and give the drones a bad haircut. This isn't a video game, Zach. Around here, game over has a whole other meaning. I hate to say it, brother, but the kid's right. This may be our only chance. Thunder, open external control channel. Yes! External control switched for manual phase lock. Okay, kid. You're linked up to Thunder's weaponry. Show us your stuff. Going to phase lock sync now! 
Okay, so <clears throat> this is by far the worst section of the game. So if you press the right mouse button, it'll change what side of thunder you're looking at. You can see it on the radar. If you click on the radar, like where these black dots are, you can use different weapons. The further out, the furthest out uses, I think, like that Q weapon, uh, the, the inner ring, the middle ring, I think, uses the LRM, and there's like an EMP for if you click within the radar. This is it's like you click in the in the side of the radar, which you really have to do to uh, get past the front. But the good thing is, this game has multiple endings, but it doesn't matter how good or bad you do this, but you can still get like, a I don't think I'm doing very well. You have to use the radar. Like, you have to shoot them on the radar. Like, literally move your reticle over, like, the black dots, or the dots on the radar, and it'll fire your long-range weapons. Oh, oh! That's what I was <laughs> Yeah, sorry if I didn't explain that. I thought well. I was waiting for them to come into view. You can do that too, but that and that uses your unlimited hey, short man, range weapon, which no is with the game. meter on the left. It has That's like a something. charge. Sorry, Hulk. My bad. But your long range weapons are limited. Like you're using those R LRMs for the long range. And this section is really long. You're gonna run out of weapons, but everybody wins. Okay. But yeah, Yellow what I usually and black. do is What's the difference. It's the enemy types. I don't, I don't remember which is which, to be honest. Um, but basically, I'll kind of do what you're doing, which is, you know, take out, like, one side with long-range weapon and then, like, fire when they're in view of me with the regular weapons. So you gotta, you, you gotta use, do a little strategy here. I love how the back of it shows the wing of the plane. Hulk Hogan demanded that level of detail and attention, I'm sure. He <laughs> personally... We'll proceed to develop. Stika feels the game audio is loud, but who cares what Stika feels? Everybody thinks. kept saying it was you know what you're doing, too kid? quiet. Protect so those sorry, but like please keep it coming. Probably because we're talking please now. Please keep it coming. Electron Ash, the thunder is never loud enough. I agree. So yeah, so this section, my problem with it is that it's way too long. It goes on forever. I'm so glad I'm not playing this with freaking uh, with a light gun. Gun? Yeah, imagine. That. But um, once this section is over, like the rest of it, like uh, kind of flies by. That's what it sounds like on the stream. Yeah, I think the audio is okay. <clears throat> Let's see, you've got no long-range missiles. Um, you got a couple of the cues. By the way, Wait. how how good does the uh, the 480i look on this? It looks pretty good, right? The video on this game? Yeah, that's a, uh, a new scaler. But the video on this game always looks good, I feel like. Like, the source... Don't get me wrong, this looks really good, but I feel like the, the source video itself, because it's running off the MPEG cart, looks pretty good. Bob, did you know that the second disc that uh, this game comes with is just like a special episode of Thunder in Paradise just for the CDI? <laughs> Yeah, I was testing it last night, but I don't think I've actually watched it. <clears throat> I've never seen the whole thing. I know Ian played it once on stream. I would I, I would just play it on stream, except I don't want to get, like, a copyright strike for just playing it. Same here. Same here. He said, like, he didn't get anything. Uh, I don't know if maybe the copyright owners, like, don't want people to know that they own the copyright, maybe. Yeah, that looks so much better than I would have expected for uh, 480i. It's a little stuttery, but uh, hope so hopefully the disc is okay. But I feel like they extended this section just to like artificially, 
inflate the length of the game or something. Oh, Bob. Once you're done with this section, though, you're gonna get to, like, go inside of Thunder's computer, and it lets you, like, click around on some stuff. I can't wait. Uh, so, you know, there's definitely gonna be a few things you want to click on. I'll, I'll direct you that are pretty funny before you exit out to the rest of the game. So, uh, Omega, o Omega LF APT, the guy that runs uh, the world of CDI, said that the, that the French Thunder in Paradise is called a word I can't pronounce offshore. It is one disc only. Caribes, I guess, like the French word for. Back door, kid, the back door. Top Hat said that he got banned from streaming on YouTube once due to the owners of plumbers don't wear ties <laughs> wanting to protect their ass. <laughs> You're doing pretty good, though. So what's really funny about this pop is that after you pass this section, when you're in Thunder's computer system, there you can learn about these enemies that you're fighting now, like your weaknesses and what you should use. But they tell you about it afterwards, and you never see them again. Well, I mean, that's poor planning, but I can also understand that for replay value, right? I guess. It just feels a little, uh, and I'm not one to criticize the CDI, of course, but it feels a little... Artificial. So that Q thing works only if you use it on the radar nearest the boat, like on the innermost ring of the radar, and it does like an EMP kind of a thing. Our port shield is deteriorating fast. This is uh, Don Lemon's uh, kid, by the way. Oh yeah. Yep. He has a show called The Twist of Lemon, a one-man show. So, Bob, do you feel like this section should have ended like two minutes ago? Oh, 10 minutes ago. I think it's only been 10 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, it definitely feels like it goes on too long. Like, sometimes I'll just uh, purposely do bad to like hurry, get it over with faster. The, uh, little, but you're not doing too bad. The little oh, Star there you Wars go. droids were the only ones that were actually kind of a fun game because, like, it made sense. I think, like, all right, I, I think we've got it. All systems crashed. Nice shooting, Ace. This is costing us big time. Sorry, Hulk. Wait a minute. I'm getting a heartbeat here. As soon as you get it running, bro, kick it into hyperspeed. We gotta beat the Major to Jessica. I don't know how it looks on stream, but here yeah. it looks really awesome. Local. Hyperspeed. Rossiter Island, ETA. 15 minutes. This is a new thing I just got yesterday. I might watch like a 480i movie tonight through this thing to see what it looks like. It looks pretty good on stream, man. I just realized I was muted. Into the main so I want to watch this. Franklin's central processor. Maybe we can figure out why the major went wacko. All kidding aside, this JT has been super believable this whole ago. time. Better see what was going on right before that. Like all, all JT, yeah, all three of these are like this. If, well, not whatever voice that just was, but this actually feels like a TV show from the '80s or '90s. After all, you've made me what I am today. I don't. Darius Rampike. Darius Rampike. So this is a uh, low is. rent Kano oh, here. Never heard <laughs> Why? Why? What's going on? Now here's something to make sure you never forget me again. No! Oh my God, it's Dr. Franklin. We gotta do something. This Rampike's bad company. I'll bet that face appliance must be hell on metal detectors. <laughs> now what do you want to do? <laughs> I bet you some writers in a room somewhere were like, yeah, we nailed it with that one, didn't we? Yep. <laughs> uh, okay, so don't hit exit database, whatever you do. Okay, so go up to, I think, Thunder System. Uh, go to lab database. I think that's where the Hulk Hogan or Spencer's neural tapes are. So remember, this android... They were downloading Hulk Hogan's like memories to, or I'm sorry, his character Spencer, mm -hmm. 
And if you go over to Spencer's neural tips, you can see what was being downloaded into him. And it's really weird. <laughs> It was Corpse Killer. <laughs> Real freaking weird, right? Okay. So now click on Thunder's database in the lower left hand corner. So just for everybody watching, there is no more mouse cursor. I just move the mouse in the direction as if it were a controller, and I wait for things to light up. I thought the mouse wasn't working before. It was. That just, you have to, in these scenes, treat it like a controller. Which is fine. This is the it's just, you know. Yeah, it's odd that it's not consistent, though. Uh, go up to Rossiter Island Download. I I've let this play on a few streams, so I'm sure you'll be fine. You probably don't want the whole three minutes to play, but I was just clicking around one day, and I don't know why this is in here. If it's funny... We'll leave it on. It's it's just this for like two or three minutes. That's it? <laughs> like it's just women in slow motion and bikinis for some reason. They really had a demographic they were going for, huh? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, there's there's nothing else. It, it's just it's just this. So, and then the other stuff will like give you like some I, I use the word lore uh somewhat generously here, but lore about the the world of thunder and paradise. Okay, so these were the things that you were talking about that describes what's right. I guess I don't really tell you how to uh, MK8 defeat them per device. se, but delivers Series J high yield cluster grenades launched by a Honolulu class atomic. Hey, submarine. Castlemania Games is here. Hey, what's up, Brian? Tony Hayden said, oh my god, oh man, it's getting hot in here. Excuse me, that was in response to the previous videos. Robert Lawrence said that morphing was wow. But yeah, the, the rest of it is a lot of this, and then... Uh, That's really impressive, going... though. Like, yeah, it's it's not bad, man. There's a lot of stuff to dive into. No, no sarcasm whatsoever. Think about when this came Trapper out. Like, here's like a 3D EBC model of something spinning around and expanding, Lethal and like that's awesome. With with satellite missile system. I could do without that voice, though. That's pretty terrible. The the voice of uh, I'm assuming it's thunder, like the really aggressive uh... boat voice. Yeah, Ryan, when you called me before, is this how you pictured me? <laughs> Sorry. Alright, I want to do one more because this is actually the coolest part so far. It's must have taken forever gun. back in the early Heavily 90s. Radar drone. Oh, I can't even imagine the, the render times. I had a neighbor when I lived in Bridgeport that um, used to do graphics for Star Trek The Next Generation. And he showed... What? Yep. Weird guy. It Wait, and you've never mentioned this to me before? Well, I'll tell you the story now, and then you'll realize why it was never never worth talking about. But I only had the conversation with him once, and he showed me the software, and it basically was like a bunch of dots on the screen. And then he was like, I was like, can you show me something? He's like, yeah, but I'd have to press this button, come back a day later, and then you'd see a small version of what you would just see in the episode anyway. I was like, oh, okay, can I have the software? And he's like... I actually would, I mean, remember, I'm 10 years old. He's like, I actually would copy it for you because you're not, you know, not like I was a threat to take his job. He's like, but it literally would not run on anything less than whatever, you know, it looked like every gray box of the era. But yeah, he was weird. He was this big fat guy named Bob. I swear it wasn't future me, or maybe it was, but. Mm, and interesting. <laughs> yeah. And the, uh, I, I convinced him to, to let me mow his lawn for 10 bucks a week or something. And then he ghosted me after the third week, so I mowed his lawn like the whole summer trying to save up money for, uh, believe it or not, I, a Sega Genesis and a Master Gear converter so I could play Master System games on my Game Gear. Oh, Bob, is, is this the summer that you talk about in my Neo Geo video where you were saving up money mowing lawns? Yes. Okay, that's funny. 
Yeah, and not only that, <laughs> Danielle said my wine outfits now an emote on Discord. Oh God. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a hundred percent true. That that and that was a real summer and all that stuff too. But yeah, so the guy from TNG ghosted me. Damn. All right, exit database. Well, that guy's lucky I didn't find him because I would have just like pestered him about TNG Jessica. stuff, nonstop. For the record, I made his lawn look nice. I, I mean, maybe he didn't think so, There's though. <laughs> yeah, but okay, he just never mowed it. So if it wasn't for me, his shit would have been like... Oh, he just didn't care. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Okay, let me be quiet. Here. What is it? It's the Major. I'm picking up a flash. He's really close to Jessica, and Ram Pike's men are all over the place. That's what I was afraid of. We're short on time. We'll go that way, you go this way. Find the Major. You got one shot, so make it count. Move! Let's do it. I wanted so bad to hate this game. But if if I got a chance to play this when it was released, it would have blown my mind. It's one of the better FMV games, just because of how well it interacts, but... If the rest of the game feels like the first part of the shooting part, I'm not going to like it's it. It's completely different. Okay. Why does JT have such a deep voice? Well, Ash, as people get older, their voices get lower. <laughs> so the, the rest of the stage, it's more like a just like a shooter, like a shooting game. But the cool thing about it is, unlike those American laser games where it's always the same enemies coming out the same thing, where the game stops at to have enemies come out changes literally every time you play it uh, the order of the enemies that come out changes and you can shoot them in like whatever order you want so it's literally a different playthrough every time and Ian and I have between the two of us we, we must have finished this game close to 50 times and we're still getting new FMV cutscenes in the middle of it and new places where the enemies stop at, come out from And depending on how well you do, uh, will depend on whether you continue to play as a JT or whether later on you get to play as the Android. I distinctly remember watching the show as a kid, and there was one episode where the the code name for the secret weapon was tsunami, and the the chick didn't know what the word meant, so she kept saying it, and I was just like, oh my god, I'm 10 and I know what this word means. Whoever wrote this episode is terrible. <laughs> I think even at 10, I was like, just because she's pretty, she doesn't know what tsunami means? Like, who the fuck writes this? Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure, you know, it's the people from Baywatch, you know? Uh. <laughs> they did perfect the slow motion boob run. And they, that they did. Love it or hate it, you gotta give props where it's due. You ever watch uh, that spinoff show, Baywatch Nights? Like one of them. Yeah, I only watched like one or two where it was like, like they were detectives or private eyes all of a sudden or something. Yeah. But at night, like, so these guys were working like 16 hours a day. I'm a big fan of the Hawk, so. And I did always find it hilarious that his partner guy was uh, would get seasick. I just thought that was like a, a funny plot point that always worked. <laughs> yeah it's a pretty good gag I love that Hulk Hogan and Don Lemon's son you know the both buff older men they got this uh, 12 year old maybe 13 year old JT fighting their battles for them I mean there are some there are definitely some shows new and old where I'm like this is if this was real life this is fucking creepy but like there's also shows like this where it's so over the top, where it's like, okay, it's... It's just yeah, dumb fun. It's meant for preteens yeah. and early teens. I get it. Yeah. I will say, if you... Oh, I've never had it stop here before. Interesting. Um, I will say, if you get the best possible ending, it's particularly... It, it's kind of creepy, the implication. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see if you get to it. You probably will. It's It's not too hard to get it. And this was shot at uh, MGM in, uh, I guess now it's like Disney Hollywood Studios in Orlando, Florida. Sorry, my cat is hitting the microphone and the uh, 
webcam. I forgot you have a cat. Did you see that thing going around on Twitter about that guy and his cat having a spa day? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even a cat person, and I loved We're that so much. Traffic. We'll be there ASAP. I, I didn't catch it. What did Hogan say? I didn't keep going or something. I was my stupid ass was talking over it. Sorry. Yeah. Ah, it's okay. So like whatever he says is dependent on how well you, or poorly you're doing. And one of my favorite things that he'll say sometimes is, "You've got a hot hand," but sometimes he'll say it like as an insult. Sometimes he'll say it as a compliment. It's really weird. I, I, it's just so odd, like Hulk Hogan telling a 13-year-old kid, you've got a really hot hand, kid. You ain't seen nothing yet, Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, like I was saying, Bob, I understand why JT needed some guns. Look at look at what Hogan has put him through. Right? You know, it... Uh... I, I saw Pushing Up Roses on, on Twitter a couple weeks ago was talking about this. And, I, you know, she gets a little emo on Twitter, no disrespect. But, like, she was talking about how people sometimes think she's lying because she remembers a lot of details. And I'm like, it, that, that was one of those things that, like, cut deep because I was like, that's my whole life. Like, I'll remember something. I'll be like, do you guys remember when? And, like, somebody will just be like, yeah, you're lying. That didn't happen. And it's like, I can't tell you how many times in my life that's happened. It's, it's definitely in the hundreds, if not thousands. And it's like, no, I, I do have a decent memory and all of that. Like, my life's been so weird. Why would I lie about any of this stuff? And that JD right. thing genuinely fucking happened. I can tell you, I remember everything about it because it was so bizarre. I even remember thinking, like, I know I did mushrooms for the first time a couple weeks ago, but, like, this can't, this can't be a hallucination. <laughs> like, this actually, I'm in his car. Like, Dude, if I remember right, he, JT, got, like, shot in both arms while speeding like in some like sports car and uh he like pissed off like some people or whatever like it was kind of probably obviously. his viper then and yes i think that that is what it was i think yeah we had a whole conversation about his viper because he loved Rap his viper. guys are everywhere stay alert sorry hulk uh but he said his viper was awesome but like you could go around a corner at 150 and it would feel like 10 miles an hour in a honda so he liked the trans am that we were in better because it felt like you were going fast but I could, like, how funny, well, not funny, this is terrible, but, like, how ironically funny would it be if he got shot because I couldn't find him a gun? <laughs> <laughs> well, from what I understand, he retired from acting not too long after that, so you, Bob, may have and helped to end JT's acting career. Look at this athlete. Every time I've told that story, they're all like, oh, yeah, the, like, the, the ditzy surfer guy, and I'm like, that's Cody. You Found clearly never watched the show. Right Cody out. was the ditzy surfer guy. On the beach near some trees. He's getting closer to him. Who was also in an guy American Major's Ninja Atlas movie. Cloak. You remember that? They must have cloak. They're looking right mm -hmm. at him, but they don't even see him. Zach, keep going. You gotta stop the Major from getting Jess. I'm cutting that sound clip and sending it to Voltar. Sorry, even though I've seen all these like uh, cutscenes a million times I still like listen unmute the stream to listen to them. So I love that Hulk Hogan works for in a lab with some people who not only can they create an Android but they can create some kind of teleporting technology. <laughs> I don't know how can get, get tied up with these people. I get caught up in those details all the time in movies. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're fighting for, like, the, this one thing, but, like, why don't you just take the teleport technology and teleport don't away and not have to deal with it? Now. Okay, good. You got the Android. Gotcha. Zach! See, I told you I'd get him, right? I got him. Zach, where's Jessica? No problem. She's right over... Spence! Every time the Hulk says Spence. Zach, I'm cutting that out. Take a shot. I'm making that memes for Voltar. Who is he? This big guy. Ugly. He had a face that was half covered with metal. It's a terrible fake accent. Darius Rampike. Mm -hmm. Airlock sealed. That should keep the Major on ice till we get to the lab. Well, what do we do when we get there? 
I've reworked your Neuralink antenna to give you more range. You'll be on Thunder controlling the Major as he fights in the lab. Now that's fire. I love that they just happen to have awesome. this, like, airlock today. brig. Now let's go get Jessica and feed Rampike Am I the indicators. only one that's noticing that JT's flat top is kind of, like, falling in? Yeah, that's why it was so ironic earlier when he said something about giving them a bad haircut. Yeah, if anybody wants to make those Voltar memes for us, that would be really... Like, if you could cut Hulk Hogan saying Zack and then it go to a horse, like a horse neighing, <laughs> that would be amazing. What's the best way in this place? It looks like Bridgeport. There's a couple ways in where they won't see us. By the catwalks or through a tunnel that leads us through the turbine room. We'll go through the tunnels, direct the Major to the catwalks, then use him to take care of Rampike's men. Complete neural link control lock on Major established. Video comp link on view screen. Drew and I are in position. I'll keep checking in with you. Rock and roll major. Switching to neural link view. I, I love the weird, uh, I'm drugged out look when they zoom in on JT. Yep. I, whoever this guy is, I love him. By the way, so the android you're gonna play as him but he plays exactly like jt but uh also the the android thinning his hair is thinning almost as if though hulk hogan was like hey brother you're gonna have an android <laughs> and he's real tough you know he's got to have a hairline problem i wouldn't be surprised if they made him shave his hairline back just for that <laughs> Daniel Greenberg said, uh, I don't know what's happening, but Bob, no matter what, I am proud of you. I thank you. <laughs> it's funny, a couple of morons have tried to cancel me over the past few years for, for literally nothing or just lying about what I said. And I was talking to you hell before this, like, fuck it, if I get canceled for showing my hairy chest and my moves, at least the bear community will die. me. <laughs> Oh, Electron Ash said that the Major is Peter Kent. I don't know who Peter Kent is, but uh, he said uh, with an exclamation mark, so I guess it's somewhat of note. But yeah, like, I, I feel like the story in this, like, game is perfect. Like, it's Bag em, it's just em, goofy man, enough up, to, like, but not, like, too, too goofy. You know, it doesn't take itself seriously, but it's still, like, kind of has, like, enough seriousness to like keep things moving dare i say this should have been the whole show <laughs> like if you think about the budget if they made a series of games for a console with a mouse or a gun that could actually track like a light gun like if this was every gaming experience you could charge a hundred bucks an episode i would have bought as a kid i absolutely would have bought this I would have, yeah. I would have harassed that next generation special effects guy to no end to mow his lawn and all his family's <laughs> lawn to get this goddamn game. Like I'll shave a Starfleet logo, I'll mow a Starfleet logo into your lawn, whatever you need. Dude, I wish we were. I wish I knew you as a kid. That's exactly what I would have done. I would have done that right into his backyard. I'm sure, I'm sure all he wants is to look outside his window and be reminded of work. <laughs> But yeah, this is actually stopping for you in some areas that it hasn't stopped uh, for me or, or Ian. Which is funny because this is a brand new CD drum drive assembly that's been calibrated. So maybe the top loaders just aren't as good. Oh, no, no, no. I, I mean that where it's stopping to have the enemies come out from. Oh, maybe the top loader so is so much better that it has more time to load <laughs> these extra episodes. Or maybe yeah, I'm well, just prettier. All... Maybe you need a yellow robe. May maybe. Maybe it's your beautiful, like, canary yellow uh robe but yeah i mean it's always different every time which i think is a really nice touch it actually adds the replayability where like i like those american laser games for like a good you know 20 minutes time waster but there's like no replay value no i remember ground zero texas because i bought it because i mowed a thousand freaking lawns to get it that and the sega cd i played that game a hundred times and the ending scene was so unrealistically hard because like the like the tracking of the mouse with your controller well, doesn't move that fast. Into all this oh, there's low rank Kano. You should really enjoy this, pinhead. 
Although I guess this would have been uh, after Mortal Kombat 1. He froze it and touched it. Oh, okay. He's by far the worst actor so far. Everybody else has been Kano? awesome. Fake Kano is oh. just the worst. Fake Kano is so over the top. And they give him the dumbest shit to say. It's hilarious. That's going to be somebody's buddy. Yeah. I, I definitely feel like that's that might be the guy mowing Hulk Hogan's lawn. Hey, Alex is here. What's up, man? Hey, Alex, you missed us playing... Uh, what were we playing before? I said he had a burn cycle. You can see like that this is like a fake uh, building. You can see like the, the wooden beams propping it up through the windows. Not anymore, but when it was showing the upper windows. This is kind of awesome, though. Yeah. Again, this is all on, on MGM Studios. Hollywood stu at Disney Hollywood Studios in Orlando. That's where Hulk Hogan was shooting Thunder in Paradise, so... Uh, I think Shane yeah. Lynch is still here. Shane, if you're here, I think uh, for your next project, it should only take you an hour or two, but you should port this game to the Saturn and then hack it for like a real light gun. You know, that, that'll only take an hour, right? That's, that's, that's not a lot of work at all, right, Shane? Honestly, I wonder how much like it would cost to license this to do like a PC port. Mm, anything with Hulk Hogan on it? It's probably going to cost a lot I mean, of money. I, I, so I, I was talking to uh, one of the guys that uh, worked on the X-Band revival. And he was taught, he was seriously, he's been seriously learning how to program up for the CDI. And uh, we've been talking about doing like our own FMV game that's kind of like a spiritual successor to Thunder in Paradise. But uh, I'd rather, you know, we'd obviously like want to do like a PC version because we want people to play it. How'd I miss that guy? Dude, sometimes these guys will be like literally like three pixels tall. Like they'll pop up like so far away. By the way, that being said, the game has not been has not cheated me out of a shot yet. Like it, the, I like I, I wanted to shit on this game, but honestly, the controls with the mouse have been great. I, right. I couldn't imagine playing with a controller, but whatever. Yeah, it, it's god awful with the controller. I didn't get the CDI mouse till I had the CDI for like a year, maybe. And that completely Say changed the way like it. to the major little boy. This guy's the worst. You're just moments away from losing him. Yeah, hell, do me a favor and comment just anything. <laughs> just press like hi or something. I want to make you an admin because a bunch of uh, people's comments that aren't even the slightest bit offensive keep getting caught. Like Alex just said something with not a single swear word in it and it got caught as flagged. So I'll, I'll, uh. John D said video quality is pretty awesome. I agree. Yeah, one of these days I'll be allowed to tell you about why why it looks so good. But honestly, it looks really good on an unmodded CDI too. This definitely looks better. Don't get me wrong. No, no, I was talking about the scaler I'm using. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. All right, you're. Uh, I added you as the mod. I, I don't Sweet. know why. So this has actually happened plenty of times before. Everybody who is part of the retro RGB team. I made a moderator everywhere, and a bunch of times they're no longer moderators. And I'm like, I know that wasn't me. As drunk as I've gotten, I would never unmoderate a friend of mine or anything like that. <laughs> so that does happen. So I'm, I'm sure I put you as an admin on my streams before, but now you're back, and now you get kicked off again. Oh, Jimmy's back. I'm having a hard time sleeping knowing I've betrayed. Uh, I've been betrayed by Bob like this, but I have faith that by the time the stream is over, he won't be taken in by your hell's CD lie. But Bob, you're enjoying this game the most so far, I by think. By far. By far. A hundred percent. So there are absolutely games that are worth buying the console just for the game. Um, if, if you like the game. So I would say definitely without a doubt that hey, if babe. you like this game, the CDI is worth picking up. Just like if you're a fan of Tempest 2000, the Jaguar is worth picking up with the spinner controller, of course. So Stadium Arts uh, gave a $2 Canadian donation. Yeah, hell, why are you doing this to Bob? But I think he misspelled two. I think he meant four Bob. Oh, either way. And... Welcome back to the real <laughs> world, Potts. But, uh, but Bob, I, I will say, um, deal with me. I, I think part of the experience, you, you didn't get the whole experience because uh, yours isn't playing the burned CDRs. So your game selection was a little limited. So what I may do, and this may be the alcohol I'm talking about, maybe I'll uh, just send you some and you don't have to stream them but i'll send you like some copies of like the actual games i can just burn them and respectfully and i have a, a much much better idea i'll be around your neck of the woods relatively soon uh, i'll just come over with all the wine 
Maybe I'll come in a robe. That's up to you, my friend. But uh, I think we should just stream at hey. your place. Even better. <laughs> Sadio Martz also wrote CDI indoctrination. CD indoctrination. Uh, dubious Engineering said he's raiding from uh, RMC channel. I'm assuming Retro Man Cave. I guess he just goes by RMC now. Is he here? I'll take it I don't believe he's here. Somebody from... He must have been doing his own live stream. Scrap face. I hope I get to shoot Laney. fake Kano in the face. Uh, I apologize, guys. I probably should have kept quiet while that FMB was going on. Uh, Electron Ash. Hold on. Thought he had said something. Oh, you gotta. It was Chris Fratz. Five dollars super chat. Honestly, though, I think Tempest X on PS1 is a better way to play Tempest 2000. Stadium March with another five dollar donation. Bob going over to your hells will be like the eyes wide shut of the CDI. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. That's so wow. perfect, too. Oh, RMC is here. Hey, oh. Neil, how's it going? Hey, Neil, thanks for stopping by, man. I really appreciate it. I think, I think uh, Neil Luke. knows Vanessa, uh, so it's like we have that mutual friend friendship so it's like i don't know neil at all but I, like i know him through vanessa so that's cool gotcha it does his channel's yeah, great, does man. great work I, i've actually been really digging in and i didn't think i'd be into him but he's been doing like kind of like vlogs of his new studio update mm, i think i've seen those yeah he, i think he, i think he's only put out two of them so far yet but like those have actually been a lot more interesting than i thought they would be just because i'm usually not into that stuff but his new his new place now is really nice done. like i told you dq buddy What did, uh, uh, what did Luke... Chris Fratz say before? I had... Oh, wait, the Tempest for PlayStation? So I actually yeah. bothered, um, uh, oh, man, Nick Persane to try to make a spinner controller for the PlayStation version of Tempest. And he said he'd look into it, but he had, like, a million other projects to do. Uh, so, But if, if that ever is even possible to do, yeah, I would be really interested to play that. But uh, until then, Jaguar with a spinner controller all the way for me. Uh, you got also a two dollar donation super Ooh. chat from Lucas. Uh, he said Walmart Kano is great. <laughs> I, I, I like Walmart Kano. Ah, there he is. Adults, Mr. Poop Poo Pants. <laughs> Mr. Poopy Pants. I almost slapped the table. I'm so glad I didn't reset the stream. I don't know, man. I, I like Walmart Kano. I think like the guy really goes for it. He's terrible, but he doesn't know he's terrible. I love it. But it. it so first of all, thank you. Second of all, that's hilarious. But also, um. It just stands out because everybody else is really good. Like, this is exactly yeah, what a yeah. 90s video game FMV should have been. This is what all of those experiences should have been, and most of them fell short. Oh, shit. That was a hard one to, like, hit those other two on. You're doing good, Bob. You should get the uh, the best ending. The camera work, like I'm not, I'm not being silly. Like I'm serious. The way the camera is going is you don't know when it's gonna stop, and there really isn't that much of a delay between when you start shooting and when the camera's moving around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. I'm gonna be quiet so you guys can enjoy. Video comp link on view screen. Yes. Way to go, little brother. We never thought you could beat him. You're awesome, dude. I love you, Zach. You're my hero. DQ, buddy. DQ. Please, somebody do that for a Voltar meme. I love you, Zach. Oh my god, did it reset again? Bob, it reset. I didn't what did touch you... the goddamn table. Oh my god. Why at the very end? Oh. <laughs> This is exactly what I thought a CDI Bob, experience would be like. Bob, if, if you want to, I, I don't know if you actually want to. Oh, you got a four ninety nine dollars uh, super chat from uh, my girlfriend, Lainey. Lainey, that... Why is she I giving you money? I saw that super chat pop up at the exact same time that the CDI crashed. Did you fucking hack my CDI? <laughs> you know, oh. if you really want people to see the ending, I mean, I do think I have a video of it on my channel. Uh, if you want me to send you links to the timestamp, if not, that's fine. I'll, I'll stream it. I'm sure. Please do next weekend. Or Please do. Please send me links to the timestamp. I want to send people to your channel anyway. Right. Uh, I, I make fun of you all the time because I'm a fan of your work. So hopefully, I think 99.9% .9 of people understand that. For the ones that don't, 
yeah, absolutely. Giant fan of your channel. Your live streams are fun and lighthearted. Your documentaries are definitely on the professional level, but still awesome. But yeah, that's thanks, Bob. I did not touch the table. I, I got a goddamn side table to put my wine on so I could enjoy my robe wine and not reset my CDI. All right. I, I found a timestamp. I'm going to, I'll put the uh, link in the chat. So if you want to watch the ending, this um, is what I thought a CDI live stream would be like. All right. Or if you want to just screen capture it, I don't know how your setup is. All right. Um, let's play one or two more games, and I like. Oh yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. To, yes, I forgot you have other games. I'm a little deflated after that, though. I honestly, all kidding aside, like I know I'm sitting here in a robe with my chest hair hanging out, so it's kind of hard to take me seriously. But Thunder in Paradise is the Tempest 2000 of the CDI. If you enjoyed this game, it's worth buying a CDI and this game. And you don't need to do all of these crazy mods that I did to this. Buy one of the giant 900-pound ones. Use S-Video Output. It'll look gorgeous. Yep. If you have this uh, this scaler that I'm not allowed to talk about yet, it'll look way better. It'll look as good as it does in the stream. So just buy Thunder in Paradise, a CDI, and that. And this actually in the mouse. I'll, I, update, I will update this after this is over. To the exact link of the mouse that I got, but this was a really fun experience. Alien Gate was <laughs> garbage. Hotel Mario was embarrassing. Tetris was cool. Wait, Hotel Mario was was fine. It just like reset. I thought you no, said no, no. like it was better than Hotel Mario as a Mario game was embarrassing. Oh yeah, it's not a good Mario game. It's a good puzzle platform. If they called it anything else, if they called it Hotel CDI, I I would I would buy that definitely. But so the the, the like this actually genuinely is a good game. I really enjoyed the shit out of this. Like, this was fun. Yeah, I, it was fair. Did, it was entertaining. Bob, did you think that, like, uh, Ian and I only liked that game, uh, like, ironically? Dude, I don't know with you guys. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, it really is, like, a good game. Um, and, like like you said, like it just it encapsulates the 90s. Uh, it has replay value, which is rare for, like, an FMV game. Yeah. Uh, all right. and, and it doesn't like take too long except for that first section. All right. So uh, we have some super chats to get back through. Uh, we will not miss any of those, but um, I do really enjoy the game Seventh Guest. I just don't think, I feel like if I wanted to play this game, no, no offense, man, you're pretty at all, but I feel like uh, I would love to have Pushing Up Roses do a, a live stream yeah. or something like this with me. She should actually do it with you. That would be, that would be the, the better live stream than me. But so from the choices, because they're both the, you know, the paper and plastic ones, I feel like these are the, the fancier CDI games. Shout out to Justin, a.k.a. Goodwill Hunter, for getting me these. We have Demo's Quest. Um, and we have Kether. Kether. I think Demo's Quest might have been made by the people that made The Apprentice. So you might want to try that one out. Okay. Let me see if I'm... We also got Max Magic. I'm going to let the chat I'll decide what we play. Uh, little monster at school. I'm gathering this is a children's game, but it, uh, who knows? Maybe it'll be ironically funny. And Sargon Chess, which if Firebrand X is in the chat, we could play this. If he's not, we can't because he's he's actually like a really good chess player. So I would want to I would want to have him call out the moves so I can destroy the computer hilariously. So why don't we have the chat decide? I am going to um refill my wine. By the way, do you put a scarf on your wine when you pour? You know, I uh, usually go with an ascot. Really? It just depends. It just it looks like a suave yet slightly arrogant Frenchman blowing in the breeze, mm -hmm. allowing mm -hmm. me to pour my red wine without spilling a drop <laughs> on anything. I could refill my glass here, but like if the drops come back, they're gonna drop onto the scarf. So that that's a good idea. I've never thought of that. So I do think this is by the same people that it, it looks some of the art looks similar to The Apprentice on Demos Quest, but it's not the same kind of game. So. All right. Well, let me let me grab let me re up real quick. I'll be right back. Find a game for us, please. Uh, but yeah, let me uh search for Kether here because again, I've played it a couple times, but it's pretty intoxicated. I think it has some FMV stuff, which might be fun. Yeah, definitely does. I wish he, I wish uh, Bob had Mutant Rampage Body Slam. It's a beat em up for the CDI. That's fantastic. Uh, 
Lucas says he wants a CDI court for the mister now. Yeah, I do too. I do too. Oh, Sticker, you're watching with a 15-minute delay. Uh, Jimmy Hoppe, a reminder that Ian, the historic nerd, once played Hotel Mario for like six hours straight. These CDI fanboys are insane and not to be taken serious in any context. So yeah, and I think Ian only got to like, what, like level 40 or so of the 99 levels in Hotel Mario. So yeah, I'll probably do a stream on my channel of uh, CDI next weekend. I don't think I'll do it this weekend because I'm trying to finish up my uh, next video. But uh, my, my, my CDI um, isn't as temperamental as, the, as Bob's top loader. So, and I have a lot more games, so we'll be able to go through more of the library. And maybe we'll go through Thunder in Paradise and do one of the not-so-good endings. Um, Kether, I don't think it's a shmup. Uh, Alien Gate is supposed to kind of be a shmup, and that was actually the first game Bob played earlier, but let's see. Checking now to see if Kether, I, I, I don't think it's a shmup. I thought it was, oh yeah, it is. Actually, uh, maybe you, you should do Kether. It's actually, I was confusing it with a different game. Okay, Kether it is. Mouse or controller? It, uh... Have you ever played Sylphid? Oh, of course. Didn't Jimmy and I just okay, play that so last it's... week on the Sega CD? I'm terrible at Sylphid, but <laughs> Me too. I, this is kind of like a similar concept, I believe. Okay. If I'm remembering it right. Uh, the CDI does not have a screensaver. It just kind of dims it. Um, all right. Mouse or or controller? I'm going to go with mouse just to see because yeah, probably mouse. that's been the better experience. I, I... I, I got a P2, but uh, so I'm going to go do that. Hey, uh, you, you mind if uh, Lainey sits with us? I'm sure she's like bored on the couch. I know she's been watching anyway. Jump on in, Lainey. All right, I'll grab her. Oh, well, she may not even want to, but... If she I'll, I'll showed up in a, a bright yellow robe, she would win the entire stream. <laughs> well, this is her silk robe. <laughs> so we, we left our thick robes in uh, Washington because we're like, oh, we're not going to need those in Florida. So. Little did you I'll be right back. <laughs> right? Did I reset it again? I did. All right, hold on. We have to do the power cycle like we did last time then. It could be the power supply because that's actually the only thing. Uh, I don't know if I have enough room to show it. Let's see if the entire thing falls off. Yeah, all right. So these external power bricks on the top loaders, this is the only thing was they didn't rebuild for me. Um, and... I didn't even think of it, but the capacitors and that could be going, which could be why we're seeing these weird reboots. Um, but let's try it again and see if we get lucky. Or maybe maybe the CDI just doesn't like wine. Oh, I did put it down on the table. So, uh, Dirty Bear Productions says, as a child, I think I saw a CDI in a car dealership. Am I misremembering, or were they actually used like that? That's a really good question. Um, you would see Jaguars in dentist's office. Um, but that was because the mold for the Jaguar was used for other electronic devices. To discover the universe of Kether, choose one of these options. You know, the CDI was really used, you know, more often as like an interactive media thing, whatever, interactive media device. That's what the, the buzzwords were in the 90s. So while I don't know this, it wouldn't make, it would make a lot of sense for me if there were somebody who made an interactive CD that allowed you to like walk through a car's new model or something for like at a, you know, an expensive fancy car. And those, uh, I don't know if anybody remembers car dealerships from the 90s, but if you got a more expensive car, which, by the way, we could never afford, but sometimes I would pretend that I could, and you would get these, like, binders with all these really nice pictures of the car, um, and those would cost, like, 20 bucks each to, per like, to make, and they would give them out to people who they thought could actually afford to buy the car, and I would just fake it really well as a kid. 
whatever. But, sorry, it was a scumbag thing to do, but I was 18 years old, so I feel like I get a pass. But, yeah, I mean, it would make sense. Like, how much would it cost to, to make a whole bunch of printouts for people that may or may not buy the car versus how much would it cost to make an interactive multimedia tour of the car that you could give to dealerships and you could show it to 100 people for free. Like, it might actually be the same amount of money. On board, three and three wants to know how much it's gonna cost, or what size donation it's gonna take to get a nip slip. I feel like that's better served at a Jimmy Hoppa stream, or on OnlyFans. All right. Uh, so did I see that your CDI uh, messed up again? Oh, shit! Somebody's blonde. Yes. I, I. So wait, you can see color, but it doesn't come out on the stream. No, dude, you could be completely colorblind and know that Lainey dyed her hair. There's, <laughs> I, yeah. There's, there's absolutely yeah, she no. Uh, it. I can, yeah. Let me see if I can. What's up, Lainey? You're looking really Florida. There we go. Something like that. I haven't connected it. All right, I feel like there was a cutscene, but it just said the same thing over and over, so I just clicked the mouse. Yeah, so um, I thought I thought I saw you like uh, moving around the power supply. You think it might be the power supply? It could because it's the only thing Jose didn't rebuild. So. Mm. Oh, is that not okay? There we go. Okay. Stika wants to support me on OnlyFans. Yeah, I'd do it if I had a big enough audience. <laughs> I, uh, you know what's weird that, uh, some, oh, I'm moving that's the wrong way, that some people, like, in the gaming community really look down on people that have, like, OnlyFans, but it's like, uh, yeah, you know, let me, whatever, let like, me explain to you exactly who doesn't like people with OnlyFans. People who could never have their own, or people who could never get the person who has an OnlyFans, and, and have a problem with that. Those are the people who care. Yeah, I, I, I'm just like, you know, who cares? Like, is it affecting you? It seems like you've had a lot of people mention that uh, they like the robe and they want it opened. So, I mean, I, I think you can make some money off of you that. You know, Lainey, don't hate me because I'm pretty. <laughs> I mean, I think you can just do some, like, testing in the chat, right? Like, just see how many people, like, uh, will donate <laughs> to open the robe. And then, you know, that'll, that'll tell you a little bit more about the success of your OnlyFans. Uh, if I thought Jimmy I would... said, uh, there's the first lady of the CDI. <laughs> <laughs> if I thought an OnlyFans could add to my content, I would have done it a million years ago. If I was a cosplayer, I would absolutely have an OnlyFans. And I would have the same pictures that I would have everywhere else. It's just the social interaction of it and everything. I would totally have it. But as running retro RGB, that wouldn't add a, a single thing. Yeah. Do, do you see what I'm saying, though, with, like, the Sylphid like Yeah, but the, the uh, controls are... Wait, you know what? Let me try it again, and let me turn the mouse upside down. Because down was up, up is down, which is great for a control stick, but not so, mm. so much for a mouse. But isn't that going to be harder, then, to, like, press the mouse button? Listen, man, don't judge me for how I use my fingers. <laughs> just... I mean, this one might be better with the controller. Who knows? Yeah, you know what? Let me just do that. And uh, I did find that you, you can't really um, swap controllers when it's on. I mean, that's kind of with most consoles, though. But, so. but No, but, but you can with the uh, VCR ones. The VCR ones? Come on. Like, like the one that I have and the, the one that Ian has. So I think like the top loader must have like some oddball like restriction. Well, I shouldn't say oddball, just like different hardware, you know? Did you all just hear right. your hell space shame me right there? Like, oh, well, in my place where I live, where people don't live in closet-sized apartments, we could have the <laughs> no, VCR I, I, CDI. I, to, to be fair, like, you're, you're right, because, like, your CDI is probably, like, a, a little bit more than half the size of mine. So, yeah. No, I, I don't blame all, all kidding aside, it's legit probably a third, a third the size. 
that John I mean, Linneman costs... puts his uh, PVM on top of his CDI. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. Sorry, Lainey, what were you saying? Oh, I was just going to say, I think it costs more to ship that CDI than it did like anything else that we shipped by a UPS well, that, that's, <laughs> that's why I... Uh... Oh, oh, yeah, I did ship that one separately. That's right. Mm -hmm. Wait, no, did, or did I put it in the car? I, I can't remember. I feel like I did ship it separately via... Yeah, because I, I thought put, you didn't want to put it Yeah, because it was like the only thing I put... That, so like, that's something would happen. Literally, yeah. actually, so when we moved from Washington, Florida, now I remember, it's the only thing I put insurance on when I ship. <laughs> did I ship expensive cameras, lights, uh, computer? <laughs> yes. He, he put all that in his car when we shipped the car. It makes but he's sense. like, wait, wait, the CDI, let's take it to UPS real quick. Like, let like, me get, like, pay extra for the wrap. My $3,000 computer. <laughs> Did I insure that? No. But look, that that's totally fitting. You without a CDI is like me without a time sleuth. Like, it's just... There you go. Dude, you have to read Jimmy's last uh, last quote that he posted in the chat, because it's Bob, the dirtiest Bob's only, thing. Bob's OnlyFans would probably involve really filthy stuff. Involving cheap Chinese skirt to HDMI scanners <laughs> and old photos of Voltar. Uh, Why are they old photos of Voltar? Like, uh, did he used to be uh, real slutty? No, no, I think he's sluttier now. <laughs> That's what I thought, too. <laughs> With his wife, Peter. I'm, I'm going to go turn off the TV. We're on the TV in the living room and it's uh, distracting me. Alright, this game is pretty terrible. Does anybody have a secondary backup game that they want to... Watch me play, because this is not good. It's like if the people who designed the CDI designed Star Fox. <laughs> Chris. So, Bob, I know I know there were a few games that you had an issue playing, you know, today due to technical glitches, but so far, what, what, what's... Because what, I know you've, like, played it a little bit to kind of just make sure everything works, but you haven't really, like, sat down and played it this long, right? No, this is the longest I've ever played a CDI in my life, honestly. All right, I, I'm I feel... really sorry though. This game is beyond terrible. We have to switch to another one. No, no <laughs> I, I, I feel like uh, you've you've. If I had to guess how you felt about the CDI, better and worse. Right. And both better <laughs> and worse than you expected. Yeah, I mean, so I think once again, not 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 to pimp out Mr. Top, but the uh, the Top Hat Gaming Man's video about uh, about the CDI really nailed it in that it's not a gaming console. It's an interactive multimedia system that has games on it. So, like, I totally, uh, you know, that that is really important to understand that you have something that wasn't designed as a gaming console to play games. So you have to keep that in mind. But, like, there's a bunch of really crappy consoles. And that still are redeeming in their own way. And the Jaguar and Tempest is my favorite example because it's really good game. Like when I first played it, my cousin Scott was like, oh, you have to play this game. It's called Tempest. You're going to love it. And I'm just like, oh, whatever. And like I played it. And I was like, yeah, it's really good. And I looked at the clock. I was like, holy shit, it's been an hour and a half. Like, I guess I really did like this game. So I, I feel like Thunder in Paradise truly is that. And I bet you if we kept going, there's a few other hidden gems that would absolutely be counted yeah. as that but you it's about if you're a collector that likes this stuff and wants to play a unique experience you have to buy a cdi and you you have to buy the thunder in paradise and i'm trying to find a second game to tell people to buy and it's kind of hard i mean i mean there's other stuff like burn cycle is a good playthrough uh but you have to like you know sit there watch the story and that kind of stuff does it have a lot of replay value now? Uh, the Apprentice, which I believe is made by these same people, because like this art style looks similar, is another really good one. Um, the, the, you, you know, it's it's one of those things where you, you have to decide. Okay, does this have enough games for me? Yeah, exactly. You know, um, but I mean, there's like 600 titles on the CDI. Uh, are they? Are a lot of them edutainment? Yes. But uh, you know, there's some there's some fun stuff on the CDI. The, the, what Isn't I always there, like the mall game or something. Oh, like the, there's uh, this game called Girls Club. Oh yeah. Uh, where it's like, like a dating game, kind of like that. Um, oh my god, like what's that phone board game where you like flirting with boys? Like AVGN did a video on it. Oh, that's Dream right. Phone. Yeah, Dream Phone or something. So it's like Dream Phone with like 
90s FMV acting, which is just like dumb fun with like your friends to do. Uh, Jeopardy is pretty good on it. There's actually the tennis game yeah. is really good on uh, CDI. What's Space Ace? I feel like nice I've. Going, man. It's a uh, drag. It's Dragon like Dragon Slayer is made by the same people. Yeah, it's the Dragon Slayer sequel space. or something like that. Yeah, but uh, there's also Dragon Slayer on the CDI. Mist is on CDI, um, and those are like pretty good versions of it. Okay, so this is a puzzle game. There are no buttons in this game. If you press a button, it goes to like the yeah. start menu. Uh, this is kind of neat, though. It plays okay. What are you supposed to be doing? Mm, I think you're supposed to find different... You have, you're supposed to collect everything. As well as oh, okay. keys that allow you to go into the different Blue. sections. And if you hear the uh, the voice in the background... Red. Like you just hear it yell red, that means I get the red key, so I can go into the red locked section. So this isn't red. terrible. Yeah, I, I've never played this one, but like that splash screen looks very similar to the art style for uh, The Apprentice, so it's, it's got to be the same people. <laughs> Jimmy, my faith in Bob is a shielded RGB cable with C-Sync. Bob will never join you, you hell. Oh, yeah, yeah, so earlier... Oh, by the way, you had a $5 super chat from Chris Fratz. I don't know if you read it. Oh, no, what's up? On Sorry, Chris. So he said, uh, honestly, with how Bob talks about his apartment, I'm imagining that at his apartment is like Bender's apartment in Futurama. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, before that, uh, Jimmy had said, Bob's only... Wait, hold on, wait. What Jimmy had said was, Bob is beginning to believe when you like, started talking positively about the CDI. So that's kind of what Jimmy's going on about. Oh, but but whatever, Jimmy. You, you you were having fun playing the CDI in the hotel room at PRG. Jimmy was the most disappointed that you forgot the power cord. He really was. Eventually, like, have you ever seen someone? He still that, hasn't let it go. Have you ever seen someone that gets over an addiction, Green. but then they think like years later they're gonna get to just have a little taste of like their drug again? <laughs> like that's what Jimmy was like when he thought like he was gonna get to play CDI at PRG last year, and then when he found out I forgot the power cable. You know, I. I it, it, his... We're lucky that we had Ian as a protector uh, for your help <laughs> at that point because uh, Jimmy started getting angry. Yeah. Jimmy was very, very unhappy about it. I, actually, you know who was really, like, almost borderline pissed about it was uh, MVG. <laughs> <laughs> Because I think I, I I think if I can get get MVG to play uh, um, the FPS uh, Land to the Last Resort on CDI, he'll be like, okay, I can port Doom. That's funny. That is very funny. All right, so I think I figured out uh, this the point of this game. Uh, you have to let me restart it. You have to get the keys in the order so that you could you would have to get all of the stuff in the right order in order to exit. So, all right, it's a kind of cheesy. A lot of games are like this, but we'll figure it out. So the only first key you can get is green. Green. So our choices are... I feel like this is the same voice from Neo Turf Masters, by the way. But So Omega from uh, World of CDI said reset, wrong key choice. Okay, if World of CDI is still here, please, please help me out on this one. I'm going to guess and go to top first. Yellow. He might have said this before you uh, got to that screen. There you go. So I'll just ask him for any tips. So we have to do red last because that's that. But so blue, I can do the top one here, or or they're both red. So okay. Red. So then that one should get you into this other red key that brings you into the yellow over there, like right. all the way. So we have you. a couple of choices for red. The next one is red after that, so we want to save it. So I feel like this is the next one. Yeah. Okay. And then go into the yellow guy. There's only one oh. yellow. And then that'll take you to the green. green. Okay. So and then we... the green will take you to the gray, and then you'll have two reds left. Blue. Okay. Yeah. Red. All right, all right, all right. We could do this. Boom. Red. Yes. Somebody said check the keys number on the middle of the arrow. All right, we'll, we'll have to do that next. Yeah. Hopefully. Oh shit, we might we might have found another CDI hidden gem. Oh, and it has a password system.
Nice, Ooh. which is very nice considering the issues with uh, CDI batteries. Phil wants to know if this is a Komodo. No, Phil. Fuck you, Phil. <laughs> 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 Phil. Phil's actually a good friend of mine. I, I bought my first <laughs> RGB monitor off of him. I've been uh, I've been bothering him for years and years. So it's uh, so, I dropped the oh, so bomb with love. So that tip about the keys was from Omega, aka uh, World of CDI. Check the keys, uh, the the key numbers on the middle of the of the screen. Open doors with the keys inside to open other doors. Red. Uh, Jimmy said, "I've pr- <laughs> he said I've printed stickers on my Casio Loopy that look better than this. Somehow they play better too." Don't you be talking about the Casio Loopy that way. If Danielle's still in the cra- in the chat, she'll school you. She'll school you worse than if you had a if you left batteries in your old uh, your old game controllers. The thing about streaming the CDI is like to me as a CDI fan, there's there's no risk because at, almost everybody that's never seen the CDI assumes it's going to be terrible because of the AVGN videos. So you will almost always end up picking up more fans for the CDI than not because people will go, oh, this isn't like what I was led to believe or <laughs> what I thought because they don't understand AVGN as satire. Yeah, well, no disrespect, but like anybody that doesn't understand right. that AVGN is designed to make you laugh, like that's your problem not mine like that's right. his job is to make people laugh and he does a really good job right. of it so like i would be disappointed if he covered anything like the cdi and didn't make a bunch of jokes like that's what you go to his channel for it's like going on a stream with yumi and jimmy and not getting made fun of like that's by far the most insulting right. thing that could happen is if we don't make fun of you then that you know that means we, we right. have less of an opinion of you like, you have to understand you're going to leave with less of your self-esteem intact. <laughs> Damn it. Sorry, guys. I, I'm messing this one up. Or or more of your self-esteem intact. I don't know. What controller are you playing with, Bob? Uh, the three button. I wish I was a Sega Genesis uh, controller. Uh, okay, okay. You, you like how Lainey has uh, become so uh, informed about the CDI. She's like, wait a minute. What are you using for your controller? Dude, <laughs> let me tell you something right now, man. I remember watching the R. Kelly documentary about how he convinced people like what was right and what was wrong, and I just remember thinking like somebody needs to have a talk with Lainey because <laughs> dude, there's so many horrible ways this could go for her. Listen, Bob. I mean, I've uh, only heard good things about the CDI. I, I, I have so, no idea what you so, guys are talking about. So I don't know if you heard, but Bob said that he's going to be down like in our neck of the woods in the near future. Oh, okay. And we were to do a stream from here. And uh, I, I think Bob really wants you play, first of all, like, you know, a bigger library of CDI games. But once you play it with the, because I admit, the one of the right. CDI's biggest issues are the controllers. The mouse is good, but like, you know, you can't use the mouse for every game. Well, you could, but you shouldn't. But um, once you like get to use a Super Nintendo controller with the CDI, it's like a whole new experience. Well, just in fact, just they say that clear, a whole though, new world of songs right inspired. Here, the controller isn't the problem. The the problem right now is that I just played a couple of games where the movements were giant erratic movements with the mouse, and now I'm going back to a game where the movements are calculated and in you know, like precise. Yeah, as precise precise as possible. So, it, but, but I will say those controllers because I have two of those uh, Genesis style controllers, and like they over time, like the D pad gets worse uh like i have one that's like almost unusable if i want to go left and i have another one that's like i i got sealed in box that i've only used a few times and um i'm scared to use it so it's gonna like go to shit but like now now i use Super nintendo it. controllers anyways shit and the don't, don't hit the don't hit the table bob i use my 8-bit <laughs> dough with my cdi now oh gross it is like how amazing is that <laughs> the only thing that could make it more fucking disgusting is if you plugged a pound cable in while you were using it i i've always had good experience with my 8-bit do super nintendo controller is it the 2.4 gig one or is it yeah 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 oh, the 2.4 th- never mind yeah that's that's a good controller i thought you meant like the old bluetooth one no no, no. this is like the 2.4 one that they sold with the uh the um analog oh no that is the bluetooth one that's got a lot of lag was the CDI, oh really? So. Yeah, no. Uh, I I can't see. I've noticed it. Maybe compared to the regular controller. <laughs> but that's fine, Bob. I got wired controllers for you too. Uh, 
Jimmy said the only thing that ranks below the CDI is oh, a CDI so nice. influencer. There's at least one here in the chat, sadly. Yeah. <laughs> so there's actually a really great documentary on HBO now about uh, they tried to make... Oh, the CDI? No. No. Oh. They, you... they tried to make a bunch of random people uh, influencers by, like, buying followers and all that stuff. It honestly was a really great documentary and they talked about a bunch of stuff that was kind of funny ah, i screwed this up shit but um what like the whole thing about like influence influencers who actually make a good living on it have to work really really hard to do that and that's a hundred percent true but then you see like the bottom feeders on the other side you just go around and go to companies and they're like i'll talk about your product for free stuff and it's like there's such a contrast between what those Red. two different things are. Yeah. So you could, I, I be a, you could be a good, my fault, you could be a quality CDI influencer. I will say, I mean, because uh, I'm sure you get offers to like do sponsorships and stuff. Yeah. And Red. like. Can you just get all three of those down there? Or do you have to wait? Um, like the yellow key in that bottle and all that. Like, well, I, the only thing I'm guessing is that because it's telling you red first, I mean, you know what? Let me try it. Yellow. Because it looks like oh. if you look down here at like oh. your stuff that you have, it like keeps it, right? Or no? It didn't in the last level, but it is in this level. Yeah. Well, I thought you had a red. Oh no! Is it counting down you the keys? You just use the key. Oh, oh. that's right to well, get there. Let yeah, me yeah, see yeah. what's up up there again, just to make sure. But I think that at the top is a red key. Yeah. Honestly, I think the worst part of this game is the scrolling background. Yeah, so when I did the live stream with Nicole Express, um, the the thing that messed me up most about her game is there was one level where I'm, a, I'm colorblind, uh, and it's weird because it only... I, it actually is one of those things where when I look at 8 and 16-bit games, it helps because I could see more sharpness because there's a limited color palette. But once you start to get into more advanced games than that, like I can't see the colors when they blend together. And one of her backgrounds, if you're not colorblind um you could see yeah, no. it perfectly but if you are it really messed with me like i legit couldn't see what was on screen and we we were on this live stream that took me like 15 minutes to beat the easiest level and she was trying so hard to be patient with me like <laughs> she was but she, I'm, i feel like she wanted to be like you fucking moron what are you doing but yeah it, like it could very well be that the background is messing with me a little bit so uh, Jimmy's gonna go to sleep. He said, "All right, it's really time I get to bed Good night, Jimmy. or to Thank sleep." You for coming. I can. He said, "I can rest easy that Bob has resisted the charms of the CDI." He charms was in quotes, which only confirms he is a normal, rational human being. But I, I don't know if that's true, Bob. I, I think Bob. I, I think you might have a slightly more open mind to the possibility <laughs> of the CDI having more good games. I mean, I don't know if I'd go that far. You're saying that, like, after seeing a few good games, if you had access to more of the library, that there might be other. No, I don't. Good game. I don't think there is more of a library. That's that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Keep that I in mind, Bob. I want to try to beat this game or beat this level just for the principle of it, because I've made an ass of myself I... so much. But I'm done with this game already. I think you should do Hotel Mario one more time before you end the live stream. All right. Let me call. All right. Could... Let me just call it out for the chat. Well, I hit the table, so it apparently it told me I was yeah. done with this game. Well, stop being so angry, Bob. Stop being so angry, Bob. All right. We have Burn Cycle we already played, Hotel Mario, Tetris, but, like, it, I would, I think... I mean, you you, you, you yeah. didn't play Space Ace, but that's just, like, Dragon's Lair in space. Okay. But, I mean, if people really want to see that, like, there are now... Wow, quite a few people watching me badly play the CDI, so I want to do... The CDI what is a draw, want. brother. Space Ace... Uh, Alien Gate again. It was terrible, but I, I'll I'll suffer for the people. Hotel Mario. I could always do Tetris, but I genuinely feel like you would. If you saw Beast and I battle each other in Tetris, that would be way more fun. He's better than me, by the way. But that would actually be. I, dude, I, I think because you were just getting to like the the I, good part of the Tetris. Uh, I was like no, into it. No, no, he was just getting to the good part of Hotel Mario. Everyone saw oh, Tetris. Oh, okay, whatever. I'll do Tetris if people want Tetris. Um, uh, nobody wants Tetris. Burn... <laughs> oh, okay. I've, got, I've got two Hotel yeah, Marios. <laughs> yeah, Burn Cycle, Hotel Mario, and of course there's also Sargon Chess, which I haven't seen Firebird X pop up. So don't you... Oh, 
good thing Firebrand's not in this chat. Don't you just chest him. <laughs> but, uh, little Monster at School, Max Magic. Uh, yeah, so we'll see what everybody wants. Uh, Hotel Mario, CDI Tetris. You know, it, and Hotel Mario might pick up from where you left off because you have the new battery. I, I don't know because, you know, my battery's fucked. So I don't know. Well, Brett, 2009 wants to know why I'm in a bathrobe. If you are a true fan of the CDI, Why? <laughs> you wouldn't have to ask that question. Yeah, I, I actually was in a robe, but you know, I got so warm from seeing you in a bathrobe. Fair. Uh, seeing that hair peek through. <laughs> you know, sorry, Lane. I think it just sh- you understand. You see this. I think it just yeah, shows that it, I'm the one okay. committing. I don't have the hair to compete. You know, if I didn't have a CDI shirt, which you can't even really see, I. Can't. Look, I try to never but, uh, judge anybody, honestly. Like, I, I, I'm, I really do feel like I'm an open-minded person. But Lainey, <laughs> Lainey, if you showed up in a bathrobe and you had more chest hair than me, I would have to be like, listen, we're going to have a talk after this live stream. <laughs> if that's your thing that you want to embrace, that's cool. Oh. But, like, hmm. Bob, do you actually mind if I, since we've uh, referred to it a few times, uh, Top Hat CDI video? No, of course I don't mind. I, I love that video. Chats. I'm going to update so... the, the description with all of this stuff when we're done. So, <laughs> Oh, I'm going to leave this cutscenes going because nice it's the mildly offensive. Invite us over for a picnic, eh, Luigi? I hope you made lots of spaghetti. Luigi, look. It's from Bowser. Dear pesky plumbers. The Koopalings and I have taken over the Mushroom Kingdom. The princess is now a permanent guest at one of my seven Koopa hotels. I dare you to find her if you can. We gotta find the princess. I hope every Italian American watching is just like, you know, half of my friends that are Italian are like, that's fucked up, man. Like, don't use me as a cliche in your video game. But the other half of my Italian friends would be like, I do love me some spaghetti, so that's fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, oh, maybe restore? I don't know if it automatically saved, uh, but maybe it did. Maybe. It, uh, maybe. it doesn't look like it did. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I, 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 funny enough, uh, I'm sure most people notice that this is a two-player game. Is it? Yeah. Do you know where your second CDI port is? Is it like in the back? D- don't touch anything, of course. I don't. I, I <laughs> genuinely don't think the top loader has a second port. Uh, so sometimes the CDI second player port is in the back. Like even on mine, it's in the back. Hey, Ronnie's here. So if you guys didn't know, Ronnie, Ronnie was the hands in the trailer, and uh, Ronnie changed the entire vibe of this because I just wanted to do a silly trailer and a badass heavy metal opening to this thing. And Ronnie uh, did recorded the bass for it. He's a badass bassist. And he, he said something like, hey, do you think it would be funny if I like flicked off other consoles in that era? And I'm like, I do? Like, let's let's see how we could do this. And he sent me the video and I was like, oh, holy shit, this is gonna change the entire opening. So not, not only did Ronnie record that absolutely badass bass line to the, the Terminator theme at the beginning, but that whole thing about like, like CDI is better. That was all Ronnie, a hundred percent. Yeah. That, you you, you awesome. should, you should probably show that intro. I, I don't know. Maybe you're already planning on doing it at the end, but I, I, it looks like some people didn't get to see it. Listen, that is legit. Like I, I told my mom about that intro. Like, <laughs> I was like, listen, this is the, I, I think this is the most fun thing I've ever done. I'm going to send this to you next week after we do this. And she's like, well, what is it? And I was like, well, it's a, it's about a video game console that may or may not be the worst video game console ever, but that's not the point of it. We just want to be assholes and redo the Terminator <laughs> theme. And she's like, so you're saying that the uh, CDI in some way helped you have a moment with your mom. I mean, that's what that's you're what saying. Does the CDI brings families closer together? Is not, that what you're not in the slightest, but I absolutely, <laughs> without a doubt, will admit that without the Philips CDI, Ronnie and I and Kendall would have never redone the Terminator theme song. And that honestly, like, not only was it, not only did I have a blast doing it, but my buddy Mark, um, who we're doing a bunch of stuff with Mark too soon, but he, uh, he was he mixed it for us and one of his roommates like i went to go get drunk with him a while back like a couple weeks ago and the roommate was like wait a minute is that why i've had this Terminator theme song stuck in my head for a day 
<laughs> because Mark was mixing it on his, you know, on his studio monitors and everything. So yes, this uh, the the CDI has uh, has caused has been the the cause of Ronnie and I doing an awesome song, and one of my friends being bothered with the Terminator theme song. So nice, nice. Hey, do you have to kill all of the uh, the Goombas in each episode or in each? Thing? No, no, no. You just have to close the doors. Okay. Sorry, I keep messing with the uh, micro, the webcam yeah, guys. We're just Monty G says the bear slippers really make it. Yeah, it's a uh, that's been the whole bear thing's been a running joke for a while now. Uh, and on top of that, every time I show clips of stuff, Jose always makes fun of me. He's like, "There's your, there's your fucking damn giant feet and your your flip flops again." In every video you do, so that's been a thing. Like where I got to do something stupid and silly. So uh, yeah. That's uh the bear slippers are, are gonna be in a lot more videos. Uh so by the way, Stika said he's gotta go to sleep too. Obviously, he's on a time differential. He said, Well, folks, I gotta go as well. I hope you all enjoy the rest of the stream. And remember, don't believe anything Yahel says yeah. about the CDI. Don't fall for those beautiful lies. So he admits that either my lies or the CDI is beautiful, which is what we should take away. Uh Chris Fratz also said the Mario voice isn't that bad in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, it's not Charles Martinez. What happened? What happened? Bob? It wasn't reading my it wasn't reading my controller inputs, so I tried to wiggle the cable and it reset it. Stika, you need your sleep, my friend. You have a Stika is now um, the new psychiatrist for a certain gaming company. He needs to he needs to <laughs> both be the psychiatrist and the translator. So get get your rest, my friend. You have your work cut out for you next week. Oof. Stika hates it because every time I tell him, like uh, every time he says he's done with like Paprium, I'm like, tell him like, nah, you're not done. You got you got another Paprium video in you. You'll see. And then something happens where literally like he'll like have to do another Paprium video. Yeah, that was brutal a few days ago too. That was that was one of those things where even I had to step up and be like, what the hell? And then because I'm generally very polite on social media, every time I'm not, everybody's like, "Oh, here's our here's our excuse to destroy Bob and explain." And it's just like, "Oh, here we go again, another one." Um, so Omega is leaving as well. Omega, uh, I believe, is also living on the other side of the world. Um, runs the world of CDI. Thanks so much for yeah. Thank you for Bob. coming. I really appreciate it. What is, what's going on, Bob? My controller is not working anymore. Well, you know, Ian plays this with a mouse. You know what? Let me try it. I, I, don't, I don't know how. I've never done it. It seems like it'd be fucking impossible. Especially with the down and up shit. Well, you know what? Being able to play a game alone apparently is a challenge here in the stream. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if you know, Bob. There's 99 levels of Hotel Mario. And Ian got through half of them with a the mouse. Yeah, but Ian's also in the military. So he's obviously a glutton for punishment. And he's a chemical weapons expert, so who knows how that's mutated him? We'll see. <laughs> so I, I think you should consider on your next stream doing uh, what one of the high, higher ranking people in our company did and uh, do your video with no shoes on and uh, make sure to show your feet prominently in the video oh, while you're sitting on a bar stool. It is so funny that you say that <laughs> sitting <laughs> next Cam. to him. <laughs> Because a friend of mine is a, a model and a cosplayer, and she gets shit all the time just because she's an attractive woman. And your man over there jumps onto the stream and starts sexually harassing me for showing my feet <laughs> on the stream with her. It was, it was the greatest. Well, thing that's ever. right, I forgot. <laughs> that was absolutely amazing. It was so perfect because of that. It was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to uh, do what they call flipping the script. There you go. Yeah, dude, she she gets like so much like unnecessary shit. Like it, it's ridiculous. It's gross, especially because if you knew her, it's just like here, here's like how do you not understand? It's exactly as if somebody jumped on a stream with us while we were teasing each other and thought like you hell's a terrible person. Did you hear the bad thing he said about Bob? Like n no, right. like he's on my stream clearly. He's here for yeah. a reason. Like, why? Well, yeah. So that that was even better. That was yeah. absolutely. I, I think it comes down to like you know. I, I think it's tough to be a woman in the gaming online community in general, let alone the retro gaming community. Yeah. Where you have a lot of like older guys with even like more backwards views, you know. Yeah. Uh, and then you, like I, I I don't know. Like she she gets like so much unnecessary flack. Like it's. And you think people would go like, hey, Bob, respected guy, like in the retro gaming community, he wouldn't be 
you know, hanging out with her friends, they're streaming with her. If like, you know, like there wasn't something, you know, to her and like um, her love for like gaming. But funny you say eh. that, but that doesn't matter because the same people believe the lies that drama channels tell about me. And they're like, well, Bob's clearly the worst person on the planet. Do you hear that he said this? And it's like, not only did he not say that, the tweet is still public. And it's still very obvious that's not what he said. But people don't care. They just, you know, yeah. that's not what's entertaining. But the video of Bob pushing those kids over was real. That was real. real. Oh, that yeah. was real. He pushed them over to get in line in front of them for the CDI that he bought, I believe. It was <laughs> a, uh... That is pretty funny. That's why I really want to do... I, like, when PAX opens back up, or, or PRGE, I really do think it would be absolutely hilarious to everybody that's not on the stream or, or maybe everybody that is and gets the joke that if you and i started a, a, a full-on wrestling rivalry and we battled in the ring at the next yeah. retro gaming expo I, that would be uh, amazing because i would never break character publicly like every time it would every time we talk well, we should about just keep it up the whole weekend <laughs> oh. <laughs> maybe sunday we can break kayfabe brother yeah but uh <laughs> yeah brother <laughs> I, I would be pulling we'll out a Thunder and Paradise too. references every time I spoke publicly about you, and everybody that was in this stream would understand, and everybody else would be <laughs> like, wow, that's a really mean thing to say. So, Top Hat said, don't worry, uh, you're not the worst man on the internet. People hate me more. People, Top Hat's another guy that gets like uh, a lot of unnecessary hate. I, I'm assuming Top Hat just has an OnlyFans I, ha I, I don't know about. But why? That's how much Explain hate to me gets. the Top Hat hatred. I don't get this, because like... Uh, I don't uh, no no offense, Mr. Top. I don't know your your content that well, but you just seem like somebody that talks about your your opinions on stuff and makes decent videos. Like what like what what's the problem? I don't understand it. That's pretty much it. I, I think sometimes people confuse like his in character, like more over the top intros, maybe with his intros are a little bit more like on the entertaining side to the videos a lot of times, and maybe they. I, I don't know, get like a weird vibe from that. I, that's something I can think of, which still doesn't even make sense. Like, or they like have seen his wrestling related stuff and they, or he played a heel and they think like that's him. I don't know, man. Well, one of the things I, I definitely brought up to Destiny a few times where I was just like, hey, I think a lot of these people know that you're in character and they're trying, they're trying their best to like fit in Break and tease character. you in character, but they're just not good at it. So like a lot of the people are legitimately just trying to, to tease you as if they were in on the joke maybe, but they're not maybe maybe some of them try to do that but then i think there's so many more that are just looking for a way to try and break her down yeah. that they jump on that and they're just like oh this is somebody that feels like i do you know they don't get it because they're fucking idiots it's just so weird because there really are so many awful people in the world why, why not take the time to why not take the time <laughs> right. to put them down <laughs> like oh. Wait, did you like run off screen? No, it was just the delayed death. That was my fault. Oh, okay. I was I, I was very confused. I was uh, I've never seen that before. So you're only on stage four. You get you gotta get to at least stage six. You gotta get to the centipedes. So Top Hat says I'm only hated by mad Brits generally. I played a politician in the ring, and I think that rubs some the wrong way. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess that's. I guess that's fair, because in American politics, like, if, if you were mocking a politician, especially in the past four or five years, like, even if you were just kidding, there's a ton of but, people that would want to burn you to death just for kidding, so I get that. But you would think people, like, would get it, like, alright, so when I wrestled, I wrestled as, like, a, my character, like, when he was a heel, he was, like, he thought he was a womanizer, like, every woman's fantasy, but... He was like just you know completely oblivious to reality and he would like have himself introduced as hailing from every woman's fantasy you know yeah. like that would be the hometown and it's like so uh, obviously like that can't be real dude you know i'm telling you he was the weapon of mass satisfaction ah! Although I, didn't call the CDI that too. <laughs> I changed it to the cdi on, i changed it to the cdi on my on my tweet today dude but, when we watched your videos, I, when we were at your hotel room, drunk in the middle of the night, honestly, I was like, oh, man. Like, I asked I asked to see your videos. You didn't push them on us. I want to make that point. Oh, my God. I forgot about I this. I demanded to see them. And I, I half was like, wow, dude, you wouldn't do this sober because what if it's terrible? And, like, as soon as you kicked it, like, you kicked it off, I was like, Maybe I shouldn't have done this. If this is really embarrassing, it's going to ruin everybody's night. And you were fucking awesome. 
Awesome. Thanks, man. <laughs> like, you are such a good heel. I was like, that's why all of these streams Thanks, where we make fun of each other work so freaking well. You are such a good heel. It was awesome. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, Hal just likes to make fun of people in real life. It just comes well, naturally to him. So, uh, yeah. it, you know, to, but to be fair, it's and I think Top Hat will attest to it if he's still here. I, I I feel like most wrestlers find it easier to be a heel. It's easier to be hated than to be loved. Listen, you know, uh, yes, but it's not easy. And I'm I'm gonna make an example. And I don't know if this is. An, I swear to God, I mean this in a nice way. I don't mean this as anything other than my ignorance. But a friend of mine wanted to go to the renaissance fair a while back for her birthday it was just a thing she wanted to do it and one of the guys who go played down. the heels he would go up to like the groups of kids who had their birthday parties there and he would he would like be mean to them but in the most amazing way possible like got all the kids riled up the parents knew he was obviously in character and he was right, such right. an amazing heel that it made everybody's nights better the kids, the adults yeah. that were there, the adults that were there, ironically, for some idiot's birthday party, like, and it, that that's like, that's, you could be a heel and, and, and be okay, or you could be a heel and make everybody's night better. And that yeah. right there is a big deal. And I, you definitely and, and, and the way I the way I always looked at being a heel, especially on the indies where, you know, maybe doing an indie wrestling show and people aren't, have never seen you before. You got to like leave an opening for them to like make fun of you. Yeah. You know, about something. So I'd always say something where like, I'd be a dick, but I'd leave an opening where like, well, they can make fun of me about this or whatever. And then I'd be like really credulous about it or have nothing to back it up with. Or like, uh, even though I don't like kids in real life, like if there were kids there, like I'd be real tough with the kids. And as soon as like, a kid like, you're now kind of so like much less likable than you were a minute ago, but all right, keep going. Ah, kids are stupid. But as soon as like some kid like like bowed up on me, I'd be like, oh, you know, you're you're lucky. I got to take care of this guy in the ring, you know. I'd back away from the kid, you know, and use the excuse of having to wrestle as why I'm not fighting the kid. <laughs> uh, Luis so Felipe wants to know what a heel like... is. A heel is a bad guy who's an actor being a bad guy. So you're doing it intentionally. Yeah. You're not a real bad person. Uh, we're talking about in the context of wrestling, but also anything, live streams, being silly. Like if your job is to be the people, uh, the, to be the bad guy, the villain, but in the most entertaining way possible, that's a heel. Right. So I think the turtles can reopen the doors, Bob, but the other, the little orange guys, those those ones yeah the uh, okay so make it make enough time to to get the turtles out of here but ignore the right goombas right you can leave the other guys but like they're gonna come back and open those doors and then you're gonna have to return yeah i'm trying to remember who i think the koopas are the turtles right and the goombas are the i feel like every time i say the word goomba there's gonna be an italian in the chat that's like screw you and your racism i'm like is this gonna get me canceled in 15 years And you know, in some of these ah, levels, usually not this one, ah, but oh yeah, you got so fun. close. But in some of these levels, Bob, uh, it's better to like just go from the top down. Oh, so just go to the top first, and then go from there. Yeah, I mean, if you if you happen to be by a door, oh, sure, go ball, for it. Ball. But so I think zero counts as a life. All right, I'm gonna try this a couple more times, Maybe. and then I'm going to uh, I'm gonna switch to Tetris because I'm not embarrassing at Tetris, even after a, a full <laughs> bottle. Oh, of wine. top hats. Top Hat's weighing in on the heel K, uh, baby face. Uh, amusingly, in British kayfabe, kayfabe, for those that don't know, is like within storylines in the world of professional wrestling. So in British kayfabe, which is a different language, we just say villains and blue eyes. So, oh, yeah, Top Hat, I have blue eyes, so you're saying I'm naturally a villain? All right, I see. No, I see what's blue. going on here. Blue eyes are the... We have a new no, rivalry no, no. going on, me and Top Hat. No, 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 no. Blue eyes are the faces. Oh. The baby faces. You're the good guy. Oh. Well, that that makes it <laughs> that makes it way less fun. <laughs> right? Having a rivalry with Top Hat would have been funny. But 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 Top Hat, would you say like it's uh, more fun to be a heel or a villain or uh, or Blue Eye? Could we could we, I, could we I just lie and say be... that Top Hat and I now have a rivalry because he made he body shamed me for my blue eyes? That, sure. That... <laughs> <laughs> I think Top Hat has blue eyes though. <laughs> I may uh, I may be wrong. Be I, I thought he had light colored eyes, shame. but I don't know. Oh, whatever. Obviously, I mean that out of love, so. Uh, sure, well, if you don't. All right, I'm going to switch back to the controller if it still works. Sorry. All right, Bob, I, I think I'm going to make this my last beer. That uh, Yeah, this is my last my last CDI game. I'm going to try to go back to Tetris, and then uh, 
we are going to call it, but... Uh, Top Hat said he was never a blue eye. Uh, however, he did say, I have bluer eyes than you because you are in a fucking feud, I suppose. <laughs> I added the last part. <laughs> Love it. He said, he said, so there. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Top Hat, I don't know if you were saw, but since we discussed your video so much, I did share the link to which I'll share again. And I'll add all uh, of it to the to the chat too, or to the to the description. Seriously though, if uh, if you're just catching the stream now, that's the a really great it, uh, in fair view of a CDI is his video yeah. on it. And, and, and I feel almost bad because when Top Hat asked me to be a part of it, I think he expected me to just kind of be like more straightforward about the things I do love about the CDI. But for whatever reason, I was like, I'm going to throw on a robe and be real weird and creepy about my love for the CDI. It's, but, uh, uh, it was perfect. But he did a great job. Top Hat did a great job. You know, the, 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 the thing about the CDI is uh, it's like any other console. Like it's got a lot of bad games on it, but you could say that about almost any other console. Now, the thing about the CDI is library of games is smaller, so the amount of good games is obviously no, going to also be smaller. Almost a thousand games. You cannot say that. No, but a lot of them are edutainment. I, I guess. That's what I'm saying. Games worth playing is really what it comes down to. Right. And I would say, and I mean, I haven't played the entire library, but... You know, I probably have like, oh my god, you don't have Chaos Control, do you? I have it on other consoles. So Chaos Control came out for the CDI. And it's better than the PS1 version. I mean, was the PS1 version good? Bob, I'm only saying it's better than the PS1 version. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Chaos Control is one of the... And the, the sequel to it, Solar Crusade, is also on uh, CDI. It's like another like a uh, FMV, um, you know, still fetish shooter, but except you're like shooting the background, I guess, more than the foreground. So what have we really determined here today in this live stream that I had uh, genuinely a very wonderful time doing? Thank you for everybody that that, uh, that came to doing I, this. Thank I, you I... both for doing this. But what have we really determined is that Thunder in Paradise and Tetris are the only CDI games... <laughs> Uh, Hotel Mario is fun. Like the first time you were playing Hotel Mario, more sober. You were having a pretty good time, I thought. Fair enough. It could also be the the controller, but the controller seems to be working absolutely perfectly for Tetris. So is that Hotel Mario or is that the controller? I think uh, when you play Hotel Mario with the uh, man, you've got a good, nice setup going here. Yeah. Uh, I think Hotel Mario with the Super Nintendo controller to CDI adapter definitely is a lot better. Did I ever tell you how I got mine? Because, like, they, so, like, nobody makes those anymore. And, uh, you know, I saw, like, somebody online post about it. I asked them how they got it. And they're like, well, the guy's not making them anymore, but he's a friend of mine. If I tell him it's you, he might <laughs> make another one. So this guy kind of felt guilted into it. That's pretty funny. So, um... He was just going to make it at cost, but I ended up like throwing him like basically like twice the amount of the cost of it because I was just like, well, for me, it's worth it, you know, and I felt bad, but not bad enough to tell him not to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Vanessa's here. What's up, Vanessa? Good to see you. Hey, Vanessa. But uh, we, we learned that uh, Thunder in Paradise is not a game to only be ironically loved. No, it was, I genuinely had a really good time playing that. That was by far my favorite experience for this. And it's worth picking up a CDI if you want to really have that type of game experience. We, we learned that top really loaders. Into Hulk Hogan. <laughs> we learned that, or JT. Or, yeah, I mean, hey. If you're a big step by stepper. Uh, we, learned, <laughs> we, we learned that the uh, uh, top loaders, I think you're using 450s, right? Yes. That those are very sensitive. I mean, no CDI I've ever used was ever not sensitive, so. But see, I've never used one that is sensitive. So, like, this is new to me. Yeah, I was doing so good at Tetris ah. before. Ah. Sorry. No, ah, no, it's me. I get all I go all into it. But, Bob, if, if, if you don't mind, uh, I'll, I'll live stream next weekend. Okay. Probably a little later. Uh, I won't do it, like, as late as midnight as I usually do. But yeah, you, maybe... Uh, I'm usually not at all sober by the time that you're live streaming so i'm not going to be a good guest because it's just going to be See, that's usually when i start drinking but um yeah I'll, I'll do it earlier next weekend and uh or weekend after next and you know we'll uh what happened you put down a drink and now it's 
I don't know. See, like my CDI, I can put a drink on top of it and it's fine. <laughs> well, I think the CDI has decided for us. But I will say, Bob, uh, part of the reason why I got the desk I got and it's like 72 inches across or what was that is because <laughs> of the CDI. Ridiculous. I was like, no, I need a desk big enough to have the CDI and everything else. On it. That's absolutely amazing. So I, I just, I, all right, my final thoughts. I loved Thunder in Paradise, genuinely, 100%. That, that was way more fun than I ever would have expected that it would be. The actors in it, like, it, it genuinely felt like a, a game that you were... Like, if you were a kid in the early 90s, that is what you would expect an FMV to be, which none of the other FMVs were ever to me like that. Like, that is what I would have dreamed of playing as a little kid in the early 90s. Didn't really love everything else. Liked Tetris. The rest of the stuff was was fun and entertaining, and I'm glad I did it. But yeah, I don't like all kidding aside. Like, do you can you really give a reason to buy a CDI other than Thunder in Paradise? <clears throat> yes, yeah. it's the answer. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Bob. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll live stream uh, next weekend and. Uh... I'll give everybody um, some propaganda, some reasons to uh, buy a CDI. Oh, give them a I real actually, taste. actually, actually, everybody, don't buy a CDI because I need to buy a backup one, and I'm tired of these expensive prices. Don't buy a CDI. Well, I guess the other thing that you should have learned from this is, if you want to buy a CDI, buy the ones that are like 900 pounds and weigh at, weigh so much that you could put a PVM on top of them, because this one, like, <laughs> let me let me try to do it again here. Hold on. Oh, it would have been funny. Ah, oh, it did it. Oh, ah! it did it. It did it. It did it. <laughs> ah! Ah! it did it. Okay. So, yeah, if you could bump your table and the CDI boots or doesn't boot, then maybe I'm just going to inject it now. Maybe you have a So, maybe maybe you have a problem with your CDI. So, I, I will say Bob, and this is like a real thing that happened maybe the third or fourth time I live streamed my CDI, I I was drunk. I know that's shocking. And I tripped coming back to the desk after using the bathroom, and I caught myself on the CDI on the desk, and it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you're saying the CDI is good to play Thunder in Paradise and to save your life if you're falling and it needs to catch you. Right. And, and I'm also saying, but it was like the big, you know, uh, VCR model. It's funny. I was actually walking to a friend of mine's house a couple months ago, and I had their, like, rare... It was the CPU and RAM upgraded Xbox in a bag. And I always walk around with like a ratty bag so people don't think I have anything expensive in it. But I had like two grand worth of shit. And like a bunch of homeless people, like I see them whispering as I come up. And I'm like, I grew up in Bridgeport. So I'm like, oh, here we go. They're, they're all debating on whether they should rob me or not. And I just walked by with the confidence of I have 30 pounds in my hand. That I will smash in your face. And <laughs> I just strutted right by, like I might be fat, but this is gonna hurt a lot more than you think. And they like they didn't say a word, like they were just like, and they let me walk past. And I'm just like, man, I, I don't know if my friend would have been heartbroken or proud if I told him I had to beat somebody in the face to like because I was getting robbed with their Xbox. And, <laughs> and that's how I feel like the Philips CDI is really giving back to the community. If you have to walk down the street in a bad neighborhood with a Philips CDI in your bag, you know that you're safe because that's a I mean, stronger weapon. I mean, you won't be able to just carry it in a bag, Bob. It, it's not that kind of system. <laughs> <laughs> but it does stay like really freaking cold which is like crazy yeah. like it's super cold like all the time like no matter how long you've been playing it like whatever it's like free like freezing metal yeah which is pretty impressive um i guess it's due to how big it is but um <laughs> bob's like that's not why <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you to everybody that joined. Thank you for all the super chatters. I'm pretty sure I got every single... I think we, we, we shouted out everyone. I think you did. If we missed one, it's a genuine mistake. Thank you. It's all appreciated. And uh, this was everything that I hoped it would be and more. So... Um, yeah, it was fun. Thanks for, thanks for letting me hang out. Me dressed I really as appreciate Blanche it. Blanche from the Golden Girls, drinking a glass of wine is perfect. Thank you both for joining. And uh, we will see everybody on the next one.